So I'm going live. All right. So here we are. Um, so I've got my got my real cards, but I'm going to get them in my way here. Um, I want to correct one thing I said yesterday. Um, I had said that I thought that the scenario big didn't have all the um, objectives and facilitator notes, but it, and special rules considerations. But it do, it actually does. Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> and also the. The reason I got that in my head was because I was looking at the the beachhead scenario set up here. If you look at the video um, screen, and what I didn't realize is you scroll over for all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, little... it's, it's in. You know, I had the physical copy, so I was reading that. But uh... yeah, I do have the physical copy. I just didn't have it in front of me when we were talking. So, so I uh, I apologize for misleading folks, but. Um, yeah, so we need to take a good look. Let me go grab my readers because I can't read anything. Uh, so I'm looking at my my hand here, and I think I'm going to have to change it out again because I don't have enough detection capability. <laughs> uh, mind you, there is a special yeah but for for initial hand. You probably don't. I, I don't know what cards you have, but if you if you didn't choose something to detect, then there's not much in, inherent detection in this game from what I've seen. Um, uh, well, I mean, if you get your other right. JCC, as, as I did, when I go inside wanna, three hexes from Taiwan, you reveal all of my units. You out might want to throw a UAV in there or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Give me a minute yeah. on that. Let's see. So let's look at. Let's yeah, I, I I made a mess. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, so you got these are all your cards here. Yup, it's thirty because I I took one. Well, two, I took. Oh, you got thirty. Are pretty expensive. Yeah, I have 30, 30 points. points, and I I took two cards that are pretty expensive. I I took this hyper Sony. Hey, one thing, one attack. thing we're gonna want to do is let's put some ISR pieces on here as well. Um, give me a and I have I, I have one thing I, I didn't I didn't do yet because I, I wanted to ask you because I took military deception, which gives me during deployment stage I get five ground mill deck counters. So I assume I add them to oh no this this ah okay yeah fine fine with that. Uh, although I don't know if we need to track anything on the cards actually to deploy. Yeah, you kind of need to because because th here's here we're gonna put your pieces. So if you want to ah, start, okay, yeah, that that makes you, sense. Yeah, and that's why you, you really should do that now. Um, so we'll yeah, I I wasn't work. sure how we will track it because yeah, I understood that no, you, well, that's what we'll that, that other side cannot know. Well, right, he's just not. He's gonna, it, right. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what you want to do right there. But you get are you taking copies of it, correct? Or are you taking the actual okay, that's fine. Yes. Yeah, oh fine. no, yeah. I oh yeah, yeah, no, yes. Uh because the guys are here and yeah, they're here. physically they're physically on the the plural, so that's cool. Right. Yep. Yeah. But right. now I think I can add to the mil, my mill decks now because the setup of Where, it is uh, you mean different. here this card? I, I have this... deployment, yeah, during the deployment stage, deploy five ground mill ground mill deck, by the way. Mildred yes, because because up. yeah, I I seen that I get five, no six. I I think I get six naval mill decks uh, as part of scenario setup, the and I can get more from cards. So the assumption is that disappears, yeah, which you already took care of. Okay, cool. So go ahead and place those randomly as you wish or however you want. Yeah, I, I assume I I attach them to my ground units on, on the transporters. Oh yes, God. and technically, I don't think there's any. Um, I don't know if there's a fact on this or not, but I, I don't know if military deception counters in the war game represent physical equipment or systems that appear like they're kind of. These systems are designed to confuse. Yeah, I, I guess but they it, take no space. Well, right, they I, don't. I they don't it. take space. Well, no, no, no. That I mean, see, yeah, that's that's a good question, right? <laughs> Because I, I would that, assume they don't. <laughs> I I I I assume no, but 
there really is no there is no real technical limit in the rules that I've seen about meltdown. Let me see if there's a let me see if there's a section on. Oh, but what, what do you ask? Because I'm saying right now about the amount of well, space on the littoral. My que my yeah. question is whether or not you have to have a mill deck with an actual unit, or can it be? A no, mill you do deck? not. No, mill decks can move uh, separately because even even on this card, if you look at this card, there is. There is explanation. Ground mill deck units may move alone at two MP for one AP, or move with a ground unit for free. You you have it. Uh, cool. Okay. All right. Well, that the, yeah, that does answer it. Uh, I I was cool. just interested if they take space on littoral movement ships. Yes, and that's a valid question. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually go ahead and ask that right now. Hold on. One second. Ask it, but I assume no. I I assume they are just decoys and more of Emission deception, not the actual physical <laughs> units. Yeah, military deception includes camouflage, signal spoofing, and physical decoys. So I don't know if I I have some plywood tanks on my littoral ships. <laughs> no, and if they take some space. Okay, I've asked um, Sebastian and, and note. I have that. deployed. I have deployed Oryx. Do what? Wait, what? The, the open source <laughs> Intel card. Ah, okay. Well, Dutch dude. <laughs> Worth one point. <laughs> Where did you deploy? Do you need to deploy it because I, I don't remember this card. You need to. This is one you should. You need to deploy. Open source Intel. Uh, roll five dice for every one to six for. A, Roll yes, one but, enemy but you you do it during game by spending. Yeah, I don't think that like that's part of the turn. Yeah, you have to spend an act. You spend an action point for your phase to to play a JCC. Yes, I just thought it was exciting that I have Oryx in my hand. So. Oh, okay. oh man, I have social media exploitation. I I can. <laughs> I can scan your Instagram and Facebook if any of your crew posted photos where you are. <laughs> uh, so this is a, okay, so actually, what? all my officers are wearing uh, Fitbits. <laughs> so you know exactly where they are and, and what their heart rate is. They make selfies, but there are cards that block it. I, I think you have cards that block social, like, social media and stuff and blocks this card. <laughs> What fun. Okay. Um, so let's talk. Uh, everything is chosen, right? All cards are chosen for the, yeah, so the, initial, the yep. Yep. So the turn one uh, planning phase. Let's look at our uh, player aid. Where the heck did that go? The play aid. Here we go. We're going to look at the play aid. We're looking at sequence of play. Each turn has three stages actions, initiative check, and victory check. On the first turn, there are two additional planning and deployment. So plan and allocate unit. Allocate units and cards to team members. We've done that. Both teams will simultaneously acquire command points. And the scenario had outlined it as 30 for plan, 20 for USMC. Let me just double check that to be sure. Yes. And then at the beginning of turns three and five, the US team will get eight CPs and the PRC will get 10. Okay. Uh, at the end of the deployment stage, both teams must deploy their respective tactical network JCC cards face up on the map, which we've done down yonder here. Okay. Um, um, man, I need my readers, man. I'll be right back. I, I apologize. I, I can't read anything right now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sure. Uh, I do have, that... I do have one question for the initial setup. Mm -hmm. uh, since the, my ships are spread out there, I'd only activate one ship at a time, right? Right. I, I didn't really read your setup because is it, are, are you uh, forced to deploy there like this? Because I, I actually looked, I had pretty strict deployment. Uh, uh, so setup. the land I units can deploy anywhere on the island. The ships have to be within the hexes of DD6, EE6, EE7, DD8, CC7, DD7, CC6. But I didn't know whether it made sense to just keep them separated or stacked. 
that's a good question and it has i think it had pros and cons biggest pro is that there are cards that reveal like all units in one hex all right i'm back right. and other than that yeah p- placing them in a stack is probably a good idea because you can activate them at once like that yeah and then they could be more aggressively deployed they could all be ah what's going on that's me okay they could all be there because I, then... I think you can stack them together if you want to and this is right. usually better idea from what i remember it right. might be it it might be i i don't remember all the cons of creating stacks one the, the biggest well, one is they that know... there are... Well, they know you're there, right? I mean, that's the one thing, right? Even if there is mill deck in there, they, you know, if you're not spread out, then right, they know you're absolutely in that hex. But that's not no, because because the biggest con, biggest con of having the ships spread on different hexes is that you can activate them only in one turn. Although right, although here it's probably not that big a deal because in turn you can activate all of them. And I don't know if you will need to activate both all land right. units and ships. So let's take I, a look at the. Sorry to interrupt, but um, so I like what you did here as far as putting in mill decks into the um, amphibious operations task groups here, if you will. Um, so that was smart, of course um because they'll be able to eat hit points as like air unit if if um if walter has any um you know uh, naval attack aircraft then i i placed one on warship task forces but they they have ships to spare <laughs> ah, that's the that's the plan plan anyway right <laughs> the plan plan let's plan, plan to plan, plan. With plan. Um, all right, cool. So this is all set up. Very good. I think I think we're good to go. Let me look at the special rules and considerations here, just to make sure we have for this scenario during the deployment of the Marine. Ooh. Okay. The USMC gets something extra here for this scenario during the deployment stage, which is basically what we're still on. The maritime mines JCC may be secretly deployed within six hexes of a friendly unit. If, right, if the you location. took car, though. I'm sorry. Yes. If okay. if he took card with mines though, right? Which I think you uh, did, Walter. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's free. In this scenario, I, it's a no freebie. setup. Setup is free, but oh, do, do you take? Oh, you mean you special might special rule? Take... Special rule. It's a special rule. Yeah, I, I know. I know the special rule, but I thought you need to buy mine card. It, if it says it, let's see where special rules and considerations. Let's see which bullet we're on. Within six seconds, like six hexes of a... maritime right mines JCC may be secretly deployed. Write the locations of covert mines on a piece of paper and retain the card in the team pool. If deployed secretly during deployment stage, it's been expended and cannot be used again. So that I am it implies to me, I don't know why yeah, they say but... May. Well, because it's it the maritime, but it says the maritime mines okay for this one during deployment. I mean. Maybe ah okay you might you might be yeah I don't think it's explicit. I think he no, gets it for free. I think he gets it for yeah, free. Yeah, for free. That's how I read it, but it's yes. It's, it should well, say uh, okay. It should be added to your orbat so that it's clear. But no, okay. okay. You know what? It, I I think yeah, you get it for free as part of deployment, but then you can the buy thing, it later. The other thing is that the USMC gets. Um, plus two for the influence meter, or meter, which we already have here. Okay. Um, special influence stage option. Uh, write down which hexes it is. Give me a second here. Let's see. Four adjacent naval hexes within five of a friendly. Okay. It's friendly ship or any friendly unit? Must be within five oh, of a friendly, friendly naval unit. unit. But no, no, okay. it's different here. Uh, it's no, I know, I know. It's however it deploys six, six is a friendly unit. Yeah, so it's not ships for. So I assume your here. ground units yeah. count. Right. Which kind of makes sense because I thought that yeah, six from the. All right. So go ahead and my value units you... only would be. Weird. And what the hell? Go ahead and keep that. Go ahead and just write that. Whatever hex you want that on, just write it down. So yeah, I'm doing that. I just 
I can't read the white or the light blue, so give me a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, I I can't read the at, at least in module I can't read the hex coordinates on C. <laughs> okay, let's see coastal ISR rule. And all planned ships and ISR markers become automatically revealed when they are within three hexes of the main island of Taiwan. That's that's something to keep in mind as well, by the way. Yeah, I remember it, unfortunately. <laughs> Action point pool. Play this event card 17. Play this event card at the beginning of the game. Create an APO. Okay, what the heck? Event card. Oh, event card 17. Collateral damage event 12. Oh. Mission kills. Oh wow, there's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, oh, there's a bunch of stuff that I thought you need. Also, you need to buy it and just get to play them for free if you buy it. But apparently, no. <laughs> no, I think. <laughs> apparently, you just get it. Also, a uh, question for you on when you. Where are the event cards? Yeah, I don't and know. Then... There, is, there is box for them, but there are none of them. Uh... If I know. Another question, when you play a JCC and it attaches to a unit, that's just record keeping, right? Which when unit you put it on the, to... you physically put yeah. it on the card. Under oh, the that's card. right. On the, um, what do they call these things? Uh, the, the, the task group or the unit card, whatever, the unit card. or yes. okay. Okay. Yeah, I see the spot for attachment. I just wasn't, I, I was missing that. Okay, metaphor. you know what? Let's, yes. let's, I mean, I don't see the event cards here. They're in the box, of course, but I right. mean, you could go ahead. I can, let me let me just. Where the hell are these? I'm looking for them because there is space for them. There is box for them called the event cards, but it's totally okay. empty. I fit, I have the physical cards right here. Let's take a look. I thought cards. maybe they are inside pieces, but they are not. Maybe they're. Yeah, I didn't see them either, so that's fine. I think this, that's what that actually surprised me when it came with when these came with the physical box because I didn't. Yeah, and, <laughs> I was and I notice this is good that I opened that bag because some of the JCC cards are in that bag, weirdly enough. Yes, yes, exactly. And there's a bunch of cards. Um, all right. So, monsoons, mudslides, <laughs> really? political toss up, sea state. Chinese disunity. Yeah. We're, okay. So we'll, we'll for, uh, if we agree as a group, we'll, we'll just forego those for now. Um, yeah, just, we will. We will for, either forego them or go from the scenario setup because yeah, thinking we're, about we're my my local game group, the event cards are what's gonna uh, cause some dissension. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh, they don't like they don't like randomness. Ah, okay. Huh. Well, they better not get into a war. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, did you see the, uh, the 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 TNT pack Russian tank thing I posted earlier? <laughs> yes, the the VBIED. Uh, the the Russians are clearly taking their military advice from the Skaven. <laughs> it's a doom wheel. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So it's plans turn first note to self no more warhammer references um and you are able to uh, expend action points up to three for whichever task group you want so what you do is we look at the scenario um you didn't read you didn't reformat task groups did you in other yeah. words um, everybody, you, you didn't like change your initial task grouping, right? No. No. Okay. Um, so Tom, you're up. You can you can task uh, Beijing, Tianjin, or Shanghai, Shanghai. So you have three different task groups. You know, or, your two. Or, or I can or I can play my JCC cards, right? Um, well, I mean, you, you're, it's pool. It, we will play it as pooled. Right. Oh, okay. So you can use those on for any of your task groups, but for one of your task groups now, you have three action points to expend on core on core events. So let's look at the play eight again. All right. So I'm looking at the play eight card here. Mm -hmm. um, you can move and or initiate combat. You can move and or conceal. Anybody who had previously been revealed from combat can move and go back to be concealed. 
Uh, you can move and or resupply. Logistic units may move and or conduct resupply, distributing resupply points to friendly units, uh, or play a joint capability card. The active player may play a JCC for its effect. Each core action requires one action point. And let's just double check the scenario, but I think. Okay, one thing I need to, so unit or stack can conduct only one core action per turn, so I can only play one JCC card per turn, right? Because I can only... Uh, theorem checking... Uh, well, I, I think you can uh, play a joint... Play a joint capacity. Okay, let me look at that again because I can't remember if you can play. Right, I know more. it says you yeah, pulled action points. Mm -hmm. Each team will have the normal AP allotment. Uh... Hold on. A player may conduct core actions only with units assigned to them within their time square. Um, what I'm looking for is to make sure. Darn it. No, I think you can expend as many JCCs. Can you only do one JCC or can you do more than one? Yeah, that was, I think that was question we asked, but I don't remember the answer. <laughs> uh, no, there, I remember it says it somewhere. Damn it. Yeah, I think though, yeah, you, you're expending, if you want to expend your APs. Just, to, just uh, I want to see yeah. it in writing. Well, I, I will definitely activate them. I, can, I can't remember the name of this group. Shanghai or whatever. Okay, a unit or stack can conduct, can conduct only. Okay, so I'm looking for JCCs. Let me see if it's under JCCs. Give me one second. We, we sure. really need to know. We need to know this. Um, oh, yeah. Movement, conceal, combat, online strikes, intercept, everything but. Come on, baby, where are you? So conceptually here, because first turn, right, here I haven't revealed anybody. I can't, like, oh, I would have to, on my, my impulse. So you're going to move, and then I have to spend action points to reveal and then do long range strikes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. But, but I have initiative, so it's my impulse. Right. So I have three actions. So because impulse is per player, and player usually, or per task force pretty much mm -hmm. right because there are yeah uh, one thing though is this this scenario says the action pool is action points are pooled so you would have um it's it's going to give you the three per task force plus two extra and then you can decide how to allocate those okay it's most active play yeah, action point. Event card conduct. seventeen. Yeah. We yeah, check card combat, collateral damage, gray cube, mission kills for naval units. Any combination of the four following actions. So you can do any. It just each core action requires one AP, and and a unit or a tat. There's nothing that says you can't do more than one you could literally spend all your action your three um okay because because on player aid on play aid you have in core actions a unit or stack can conduct only one core action per turn yeah that's the uh, unit or stack but you can uh, spend okay and so so play a joint jcc card is not then considered a core action i assume mm -hmm. it is a core so uh hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. yeah and walk me through this. When you have a JCC that doesn't attach to a unit and is permanent, do you just place that on the map? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. A unit or stack can conduct only one corner. A unit refers to a single unit counter. As a reminder, a stack refers to all units. A stack acts like a single unit and requires only one AP to conduct a core actions. Yeah, but you can, there's no other, there's nothing here that says you can't spend all of them on JCCs if you wanted to. <clears throat> okay, I don't see because... anything that I don't think see anything that says that. That's relevant because I'm probably gonna. I mean, I got a whole bunch of persistent 
JCC is the first thing I do. Oh, that that's relevant because of what I want to do to you right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because what I would do immediately... Uh, which one I wanted to use? Okay. And since we're not concealing, we'll have to just like... Here, here. Let, me, let, me, who's been revealed. let me say this out loud. 331. Each player can perform any combination of the four following action within the limit of their APs. Each core action requires one AP. So then it tells you which the four are, one of which is the playing the cards. Any combination. So you can okay. do move and conceal, move and conceal, move and conceal on three different units. The only, so, so, the, only, okay. the only caveat is that a single unit or stack can conduct only one core action. And those core actions are the move and whatever. Initiate combat, conceal, or resupply. So, uh, yeah, the only limitation is the fact that the unit being activated can only be done one with um, one core action. Okay, yeah, because so gonna... I, I wondered how it works. That, and that doesn't. Uh, I mean, that's. I, I don't know why that that really got to my brain that day, but because I, I don't know what is written that way because I was wondering then. Um, can you can you perform more than one move and initiate combat? No, not not Post. by the same unit or stack. No. Okay. But you can do more than one. Yes, you can move and attack with one stack and move and attack Wait. with another stack. Yeah, okay, absolutely. because stack is activated with only one AP, correct? Correct. Regardless correct. of the number it, of units. The, the one the one caveat to combat in general, though, is you have to judge, you have to adjudicate the combat at the same time. So okay. you have to choose to move and then combat, or combat and then move. All right, because he, here's what I wanted to do as a first action. <laughs> but right. let, let's say let's say I activate this play, player or whoever activates this task force. This is can't remember the name, right? But this is one of the ship task forces, correct? And correct. for first for first AP, I wanted to play maritime militia, which I obviously can. So now I roll four dice, and for each one to eleven, I reveal one enemy naval unit anywhere on the map. That is uh, Chunjin, that stack, by the way. Task Force Chunjin. Okay. Task Force Chunjin, and, and, and it's, and I'm assuming that the, that this ISR one, two, and three are a part of that task force, correct? Uh, ISR no. What task force is that? Its own task force. This task force. This is can't remember Maybe. the name. So I think I, you I have to. Assign, I think you have to assign it to a player. You know, you, you are in effect two players here, right? Yes. So, and this is this is one player. Oh, so first player because I thought there can be four players where one player controls ISRs, but ISRs can be in the different stack, even if it is. Hold, in hold the... on one second. Let me look at the scenario. Yeah. I think no, I I, for, I thought the ISRs are part of the this is two land to unit players. task force. The IS because... right. The ISR, the ISR is attached to Shanghai. So your six ISRs are all part of test for Shanghai. You yes. are. Hold on. Yes, you are correct. That's a. It's oh. Oh, there oh, are three task oh, forces. Oh. There is yeah. Beijing, so which is, I think okay. this is Beijing. So keep um, just remember that because no, no, you... that stack is changing. I looked at the ship numbers. You got FFG 574 in there. So yeah, but you that can't do all these at once. So you have to do your single task force. So this single okay. task force right here, like okay. but uh, but I have here I have here also LHD one two o one. So it's so yes, you have what? mixed your <laughs> you have reorganized your task forces no they they were Shame like this you. when I, I they were like this when i took them a likely story. i did i <laughs> whatever is, is it, is it just, even just, no. i know i know i know okay <laughs> no i i just now asked do, do we play with it no we, we can play with them right sure like so okay so i have basically three task forces one here one here and this is Yes. Task for Shanghai. So, correct. Okay. Correct. So I, I would activate, let, let's say, yeah, Tianjin. Okay. Right. Um, now now you first have. Point is yeah. maritime militia. And now you will roll four dice. Yep. And on average, you will identify two of my new <laughs> units. 
and I ad identified one, one. Okay. because of course. So I can I can randomly okay. So I would randomly select. So let's roll. Uh, let, let's randomly select who I. No, normally I would just point to to the guy and <laughs> and say I want to see this guy. But let, let's do right. it randomly. Uh, okay. Let's let me roll just one d twenty and. Okay. Nine, so that's the 20. top, the 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 top destroyer there, eighty five. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you revealed that. Okay. So he's targetable. And yeah. what we what we might want to do? Let me let's take a P. Let's let's use a unique colored cube or something. Let, let's use okay. a. Yes. Um, let's put this on your card. So that you're, let's put it on your um, DGG eighty five card. Where where is that? All right. And I so return. Here, It'd be simpler yeah, just to put it on the map. Need we need. We just need to. Um, here, I'll use a green cube. And I'll put it here. That means he's targeted. You see this right here? That that means he's targetable. Okay. I see it. Yep. Because otherwise, we're never gonna know if somebody's revealed or not. So this guy is revealed. Okay. Yep. That's what I think. Maybe just put it on the counter on the map for simpler. That's a very that's yeah. a better. Go. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I wanted to say place it on on the counter. It will be easier to track. It's turned out rather large. <laughs> Okay, I so I, I return this card to deck, I assume, or discard. Okay, let's. Uh, There's no button to send it just... to discard, goddammit. Okay. Yeah, so return to deck. Yeah, yeah. I thought you just did. All right. Um, I moved it. Okay, next point. Yeah, for next point, I would like to play another JCC. That's fine. Card. That's fine. Go. Okay. Go then... uh, okay. Just realize that these need to last until, you know turn beginning of turn three you know what i'm saying and they oh, yeah, across all your task groups you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah, if yep. it, if, yeah okay but i i had a plan so don't don't interfere with my plan <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very chinese plan probably i don't know okay, okay. <laughs> because second thing i want to do is to drop you know hypersonic bomb on you <laughs> all right so, so i have ballistic missile defense on a different ship but it is closer to the target than the firing hex well the target here is i, I believe this intercepts always because it just got, comes from uh, you know outside the game board launched from a df-17 okay all right so let's walk you see this. my you aegis see. is going to fire and that's going to cost a point of supply on the aegis uh, right, because it's roll for you're... dice to attack units in any one hex or any one naval zone. Because I think I roll first and then you intercept. Is that correct? Well, you commit. The, the defender needs to commit. Their oh, okay, research. immediately. Okay, right. Yeah. You're correct. So on your card, go ahead and demark that you you're going to use it. Okay. But but yeah, but here's thing. You, yeah, you need to use ages because enemy right. BMP may intercept. You so... cannot intercept with regular stuff. Okay, so where who who's attacking what? A uh, hypersonic is, glide vehicle, which is, you know, is, card is, plate missile, right. attacks this revealed guy. This, this is used by no unit. It's just off-board off -board asset. Okay. So, so I have, the, yeah, four. So anti, any anti-ballistics any anti can go after, right? Right. Within, within yeah. the range of the... Uh, any BMD, vehicle. but B only only thing with BMD Walter will have is Aegis card. Oh, okay. Okay. And it my Aegis card says starts with four orange cubes. So now I put that to three. So I've committed ballistic missile defense. And it says I will intercept on a one through fourteen. But right. there you is yeah. Let's see. And then intercept value is decreased by eight. So I so need a six. Six or less, yeah. But All is right. it that I roll how many hits? Because you intercept my hits, if I... Do I remember? No, you, oh, you... Let's see. Four dice to attack. But uh, does the attack yes, yeah, come first yeah. before the intercepts? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're just committing... You're at least committing the, right. the resources to it. So I have committed... Right he's committed the hy hypersonic glide missiles, and I've committed the... Um, uh, uh, ages, and I, right. I hate to break it to you, these are just air launch disc enders. So, yeah, 
I don't know, but <laughs> let's see. Actually, okay. the, the Chinese are probably doing a better job than the Russians at making this thing. Probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because they do anything with it. I don't know, Russians do anything <laughs> with it anymore. <laughs> All right, roll. <laughs> Poof. More dice. And one to eighteen, so all of them. So that's all four potential are... hits on yeah, my yes. DDG, and then I get four rolls for an eight or less to intercept. Uh, six or less. Six or less. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Well, you you committed four. Okay. Now, how does this work? I'm firing Aegis. Uh, yeah, you got to commit. You had to have committed how many you wanted to defend with. Yes, so, before my attack, you need to commit. How many defenses. did he commit? Oh, okay, so not understanding the system, I only committed one. So, okay, well, then you're in trouble. Yeah. You're, well, you're no, let you're me not. let me let me let me have a mulligan there. Okay, uh, one I mulligan. There you go. Four, how, how many would you right. use? No, I I absolutely so hold on, hold on. Can I back. see that this thing is four ballistic missiles with a chance to hit of eighteen? So. so it's... I, I'm going to go About ahead. About 90%. Yeah, you would yeah. probably commit everything. Especially you would that commit everything. There's no yeah. reason why you wouldn't. Yeah. Especially right. that this card is discarded after this. So. Yeah. Which this means there's no way to re to resupply the Aegis, right? Within the course nope. of the scenario? Okay. So okay. I return the Aegis card to deck. Uh, and now I roll four intercepts. Let me, let me read up on that because... Uh, I have oh. intercepted one. Oh my god. Yeah. So you're about to sink a destroyer. The only good news here for me is that this was a really valuable card and you you've used it. Yes. And and it can't be bought again. It's it's removed from the game after use, so I can't right. right. Yeah, the only get the uh rule back. I want to look at one. One fourteen and then yours is yep. That's it. So Massive land-based or land-based air glide missile strike is going to take out part of the USN. The only good news here is it's not the not the the best of my ships. It's not the double stack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, but but now even even if you have your fancy systems, uh, you, you have two ships against my more. Right. <laughs> Against my fleet. So this is yeah. Yeah, four hits is gonna do this will be three hit three hits, I three think. hits. Because right, you yeah. intercepted one. I yes. think you intercepted that's, one. Yes, that's so right. Three. So three hits, this is gonna leave a mark. Because the hit points on a DDG Um you probably only have three, you're probably two. Out. Yeah, two hit points. <laughs> yeah, you your mission kill so, blast yeah. it out of the water, yes. So, um, well, I'll just move it off the board. Yeah, we'll just go over here. Yeah. Um, victory points. That, in fact, is uh, two victory points for China. As a matter of fact, that also increases the influence. Every naval, yes. every naval destruction. That also that also would give you the ability to seize initiative if you had lost it. Um, I think as well. So that I think that adds one influence, does it not? Yeah. Oh wait, it Probably takes one not. this direction. All right. Um, so very good. You you have popular applause in China at this point. <laughs> um, so we might be done with this in an hour, y'all. All right. So next, are you done with all your points? No, I have I have one more point left, and I will move this stack with it because the, this was the stack that was activated. Okay, so from, you're what I, do all... from what I see, my slowest ship has five movement points. Yeah, and if you want to stay. If you want to stay. Oh, and I I realized something. Uh, I'll live with it. But um, the mines, I I I could put more than one in a hex, and I did not. So. All right, so stop for a second. You yep. are, uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I will, you know what? You place your mine. I will move. No, they, they're move. they're on the map. Uh, I've written down where they are. So, yeah, finish your move because. Yeah, but I, I thought you have you had one more to place. No, no, I'm saying I put them. I didn't realize I put multiple per hex, so they are ah. one per hex. 
So yeah, finish your move. Let's see if if okay, you so are. Okay, so it will be here. Wait, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, because I want to move one, two, three, four. I can okay. I can move five. No, wait, because I will move here. I, believe, I want to be, yeah. you know, I I want to be more than three hexes away from your shore. Okay, so stop there because I do have a mine and. Oh, no. Player that placed the mines chooses chooses which unit receives the damage, unless mill decks are present. Mill decks are present, so it's going to be randomized. How many do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, seven. six, seven. All right, I'm going to roll a die 20. I'm going to ignore the tens place, and if it's eight, nine, or zero, I reroll. All right, so your mill deck just took a hit point. So it's taken yeah. away, I believe, right? right? Mm -hmm. Just okay, and the mine is there still, or is it expanded? Uh oh, wait a minute. There is a further step. The your mill deck uh, okay. might still be there. Nope, the mine went off. Okay, and mines deployed by unmanned next generation. Hone in on how many hit points do they do? One, uh, I assume roll a die. Player places the mine, chooses which receives the damage. Deployed by it does not say on the card, does it? Me, uh, something in the me. rules. Look in the rules. Hold on. How can this thing not have an index? There's some feedback for you. Special things. Meter dynamics. Uh, for each success, inflicts one hit point of damage. Okay. So the mill deck, how much? How many hit points does the mill deck have? None. I, I believe okay. mill deck is hit. Right. It's each Q. Right. So this is where I would have deployed the mines more densely. So that's, right. that's my mistake. So. Yeah, I, I have now one thing. I don't know how, how it works. And maybe Peter knows. Because I took mine clearing U, UAVs. Uh, mind clearing can mend. I, I always show it because we play open cards, right? Right. Uh, so wow. I need to attach it. But here's a question: Do I need to know where mine is, or do I just roll? And if I roll, you need to reveal one mine for everyone uh, to nullify one enemy naval mine within, within zero to ten hexes. Yes. Although... Apparently, the mines are not hidden placement. Reading the card, except in the scenario, they are. <laughs> okay, so. Can I even use it? <laughs> uh, I, don't know. I would say you don't know where the mines are till you've detected them. Now, there are no more mines in this hex, or you would know that there was a minefield here. Yeah, yeah so, that's why uh, I got confused. How, how having, to use it. Having, having run through this, I'm like, well, now I wish... Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would have deployed them completely differently. But now we know. <laughs> so in other words, this scenario gave this as kind of like a super secret location type thing. Then, yeah. 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 Had there been more than one in the hex, then you were like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no problem. That, because yeah. now I have a three point worth card that is pretty much useless if I oh. understand it correctly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, because of the way I deployed the mines, I've All also right, so basically done. made the mines useless. Right. So. so you're done now. It's blues. Blue gets to pick a a task group. So if you look at your, you know, your task force. Well, I think it's going to be the ships. Okay. And I'm going to start off activating oh. cards because I have oh. some persistent cards I desperately need on the table. So the combat air patrols okay, keep it come out. out. Yeah. Now I need to identify some targets and let me look at. Okay. Reveal naval units within 10. So are you going to do the reveal and attack? Yeah. So there's the second point, and I'm going to roll a die and watch me roll 16 through 20. Nope. All right. So I have revealed all hidden units in. Uh, well, what's the the marker click? Control click. Uh, alt click. Uh, alt. All right. So now I know you're there. And I'm going to spend my destroyer's last activation on a long-range strike. And where, which unit? Which unit was this attached to? This unmanned underwater? Yeah, you you, you will attach it. 
No, oh, okay. Um, uh, it is going to be attached. Uh, I'll attach it to the DDG. How do you put it under? That under. was destroyed. No, no. Just place it next to it or something. No, DDG wasn't destroyed. It just fired its... Um, I thought uh, you lost one of your three ships. I did. You just attached it to the one you lost. I thought. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the one I lost is off the map. Yeah, but you just put it on. Okay. No, no. The DDG is not destroyed. It's at the top of my stack here in... Oh, what hex is this? <laughs> CC7. Can you, you point look, to it with your... That's where it's attached. Oh, I see it now. I yep. see it the 104. Okay. All right. So walk me through hmm. these ships doing their long-range strike. Okay, so... I'm sorry. Are you? Are you? Are you, so you? You revealed, but aren't you gonna attack too? Yeah, he will. He's asking you how to do it. <laughs> I would like you to walk through for the benefit of the listeners and for me. The procedure. No, 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 wait, these no ships. You, I thought you activated your combat air patrol, and you just revealed this, right? The task force that I activated was the ships. Right. First action you... point: combat air patrols. Second. Okay action point no stop stop right there the, you activated them and then are and you used them to reveal in one naval hex correct no the reveal was the unmanned underwater isr uh, okay yes. the combat air patrols i attached uh i guess uh I mean, I combat air patrol. As... I think you just place on the map and the, here, here was my question do you do you need to spend ap to just place it or do you spend AP to use it and then it just sticks there? Um, I guess I can use it. Yeah. I, I, you can I, no, you just indefinitely use it like right. once. Yes, time. but I but I wonder if placement is eating you a point or you just yeah. use them and yeah. they then they stay. Okay. So yeah, yeah you just, can use you, them. You pay you pay for them to come on the map and then they just stay on the map until they're not until okay. they're until so they're here, the, here are my options with it. I can yeah, but, but but with the one point Walter used, he can now perform one of these actions as part of placing it, right? Correct. Right, That's right. why I asked why he didn't do that because he's oh, he well, I was moving too fast. I was only thinking about its defensive capacity. Reduce all enemy attacks, roll reveal all units in one naval hex. Oh. Okay. Then roll two dice to attack. Okay. And the that's one through thirteen. So here comes the F twenty two attack on that stack. Okay, so at this point, yeah, that's good. And that's two hits. That's two hits. Um, and now there and is the intercept, and you must roll one to six to detect. But that's only no, okay, no, so no. Not... It's ro roll to reveal all units in one naval hex. So you roll one. I did roll that. I rolled that. Oh, okay, okay. Now right, here, okay. I, I thought two... I thought you roll again, right. and I wanted to tell you, yeah, but you you could use the last roll. Right. Fine. So this is your two attacks, and right? they succeeded. Now you have to roll one to six to detect, uh, to intercept. And if you don't, then you. By the way, uh... shouldn't be before this attack. Shouldn't I commit my? Oh no, right, because I need to intercept. <laughs> okay, enemy fighter nullify an IMAD intercept must first roll to detect. So now I, IMAD I would be <laughs> the air defense on the ships. Let me get my terms yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. So your first step is to see whether you can you can apply resources or if you just get hit. Correct. Yes. Okay. You got, you got, yeah. Anybody who's he needs to be detected, really, ultimately. Mm -hmm. And anything that's anything that's intercepting. So each thing intercept that's intercept must first roll one six to detect. Yeah, I failed. Okay. Yeah, so my one. two hits yeah. my two hits go in. So then no, the hold, next... on. Oh, okay. whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold, hold on. Every single one of those ships can intercept. Oh, okay. But they have to detect. So you can go one at a time and attack, okay. and then you can intercept with it. Oh, but... each one. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got a whole damn task force there. Two, three, yeah. four, oh. five. Okay. So yeah, yeah but five I, I was yeah I was confused a little if I roll for the whole interception for all. Uh, okay, so it says uh, enemy FTR and IMAD must first roll to detect. So uh, there you now, go. Here's you the five thing. more rolls. Yeah. Here's a, here's another thing. 
Uh, when you do intercept, you reveal yourself. Yes. So there is some potential play gameplay there as far as whether you know you want to Okay, be... and from what I see, okay, so now oh and do I roll detection with each ship then? Wait, enemy fight yeah. nullified. It's not that yeah. and I am the inter okay, okay, now that makes sense. So yeah, sense. Okay, five more rolls five more rolls to detect. No, no, not yeah. not not five because Look, it's it's IMD with 13 plus value for intercept, and I only have three ships with such value. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, so it's the a, two more, more, so the, this, yeah. let's say this was for this type 55 DDG, first one. Uh, now, second type 55. Boom. Fails. And fails. Okay. And the third guy. Come on. Right. Okay, he so detected. You did, you did so now you attack. can attempt you can attempt to intercept. Yes. Yes. And he has intercept 14. And the, the blue cube is, is the number of shots, right? So he will mm, okay, he will fire one, two, he will fire three then. Intercepts against them. So at 14. Maybe he should not have attacked the stack. No, yeah, one intercept. Yeah. No, two intercepts. Okay, I shoot both of them. No, that's, that limits the card. Right. Yeah, but I, but I will run out of ammo soon if I, if you if you right. persist with that. Okay. All right. Where, so since... where, where did your F22 gone? <laughs> uh, you did two successful intercepts. You intercept. Yeah, but the card stays there. You can use it. Later. No, if you read the card, ah, uh, it's, it's after here. two no, successfully I... nullify or intercepts, discard the card. Yeah, I, I can't read it because you took it. <laughs> I you see. Well, I have it sitting on the desk in front of me. But right, I, but I, but I thought these two successful intercepts. Ah, okay. I thought this was if I try to intercept your card or nullify, nullify your okay. card. Okay. I thought it worked like this. Okay. Okay. So. so uh, now, actually, I uh, am going to put the. I do not need the underwater ISR yet because yeah, the detection was done by the, the F 22s. So I'm at one action point spent. Now I can do long range strikes with the ships. Correct. Yes. So now I have long range strike number is 14, range is infinity. And you so can I'll, fire as many as you want. Yep. Yeah. And let's have... see. Uh, what color cube is that? Well, it, oh, it, matches, it, should match the, it should match the icon. Yep. Yeah, just a second. I'm just, yeah. I am, I'm going to stare at it in the book. Uh, all right. So I have a long range supply of 10 in the DGG and 15 in the DGGX. And you're saying I can fire as many as I want. Yep. You all right, can I'm fire fire. all of them if you want. <laughs> uh, I am in the but, fire... but, but you need to assign them to specific uh, targets, I believe, before. Right. I am in a fire 12. Uh, two at, well, does that make sense? Yeah, I'm in a fire 12. That takes me to four, and that takes me to, ah, keeps moving. Nine. And then I got to figure out distribution uh okay the ones that actually have yeah the ddgs are each gonna get uh four okay and my strike number uh and... is 14. so i'm about to do no but yeah but before you roll this i assign my intercepts to right. your volley right and let me see how many. I hope I fired um, enough. I probably should have fired everything. <laughs> yeah, but who then? Who will then stop? Uh, you know right. my landing forces. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. How many do I have? What is this? Oh, it's BM. No. I'm wishing. I'm wishing I hadn't done the strike with the combat air patrol. Okay. I, I'm not fully understand what my. Uh, Type type fifty five had. Type fifty five has nine Good interception guess. supply, and you spent. Yeah, what is this then? 
I don't know because I I oh I placed it in wrong no oh, okay Wh whatever because I I, ha I have ah okay this is my strike okay uh, never mind uh, okay so I will fire you you fired fourteen at me right twelve twelve oh close enough one two three four Five. Okay, so I'll fire 14, 14 missiles uh, that has 14 or less to intercept. And my God, is it? Oh my God, you know what? Is it the proper? Okay, this is this is the correct stack. Oh no, sorry, this is wrong stack. <laughs> I, I I confused my. Uh, That's where the the cards on the yeah the red one two three are going to be not the same as what's on the table, so it's going to be a pain. Mm -hmm. Sorry, so so sorry for the mishap, but I yeah. I, I need to uh, correct something. Okay, so I fired with DDG. Okay. But still, it, it will be similar. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I confused a lot what happened here. But I, but I think the, uh, my, my interception was yeah it was okay uh so i'll fire one two three four five okay so i will fire to intercept what, what's your chance of a hit 14. 14. And you started with nine on each ship, and you spent just four on the airstrike, right? This is where I wish I had. No, it's it's yeah. most more confusing with this stack because I actually yeah. have here only one uh, DDG. Oh, oh yeah, one this... fourteen. You, you get no. You know what? The, 14s, yeah. This this stacks. I did not play with these stacks. These stacks are, I think, totally mm -hmm. botched with cards. Uh, because this is LH201. Sorry, I didn't check the ship cards because I assume they are fine and they are <laughs> apparently not correct. Mm, yeah, note one... to self, I would not have done a combat air patrol strike. Yeah. Five, seven, eight, five. Let me, I, 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 I'm just quickly confirming that I have proper... Oh, no, I think these stacks are okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I fired four shots previously, right? Right. So now right. I will fire one, two, three, five. In total, I will fire uh, 10, 10 shots that hit at 14 or less. Okay. And one, two. And seven shots that hit on 12 or less. So wait, now I intercept or first there are, no, there are hits and then it is removed from actual hits, not from the. Correct. Okay, so you roll. Makes the odds even worse. Let's see. All right, 12 dice for 14s. And we have, of the 12, we have nine hits. Okay, so I roll 10, 10 times for 14 or less. And you have seven. 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 So two left. And seven on 12 or less. And it okay. you stopped them all. Yep. There you go. But you expended a shitload of. Mm. Yeah, Legit. both of us expended yeah. shitload shitload of missiles. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm losing my whole navy. Hmm. Which is about how this would play out, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, but usually, last like last action then is another 
on the table <sighs> board here. Uh, F-22 escorts. In case you decide to use airplanes. Okay, we're back to second. Yeah, I don't know if you can just place... Well, you can place it like this, but I don't know if it does anything. If you... Yeah. Might have used something. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I'm not confused because I thought you just place this card whenever... Oh, or do you can... Oh, no, because you place it, you can intercept with it if I do something, right? Right, right. Oh, what's yeah. nice is they can even they can even intercept IAMD. <laughs> That's yep. pretty cool. <laughs> That's a pretty cool okay. card. Okay. Right. I should have played that and then attacked. <sighs> yeah, probably. But, hey, live and learn. <laughs> so, yeah. all right, big lesson learned already. One, don't don't strike with the cast uh, with the uh, the patrols, and two, play this first. Yeah. Or at least don't do it. Again. Or at least don't do it against an entire task force. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't gonna, and anyway, learning the game. Yep. Okay, so now I would activate the task force with the littoral ships, and these are both these guys, right? Because, Correct. I, I mean, this is one task force, so now if I want to move them, I need to You'd expand, uh, two, expand two, two. two points. Two, two, okay, two. so first, first... Uh, first one I will expand to play mine <laughs> combat air patrols and just for, ju just for shit and giggles uh, I can try to nullify you right <laughs> just to see how it works um, so yeah, once you, would only, turn... you would only do that you're only you, the nullifying yeah. is only, is only uh, yeah I know I, I need to roll and first I need to roll to detect but I want to yeah, see but, how it but works he isn't he needs to be committing an action for you to nullify the action. Oh, because I thought the A, because I thought A at... is fighter nullify one or two enemy av aviation JCCs, excluding enemy tactical UAS. So I thought I can just play as an action once per turn. I can just, oh, right. And it is once per turn. We need to remember that, that you cannot use it. Oh, I guess you're right. You you can just preemptively nullify it. it I, I yeah, I, I I think the A I thought the A is just I can try to nullify his card to to remove. Yeah, you're basically right. keeping him under pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but first, okay. I need to detect him on the roll of one to eight. Right. I, wish right. I had my combat air patrol. <laughs> Roll one die. All options succeed on one twelve. Fighter nullify one or two enemy aviation. This is this is the option I would take. Mm. I guess I, I need to read into that, but I think it's it's legit. But first I need to so enemy fighter nullify must first roll one to eight to detect. So right. I, I will try this first. See if you even know I'm there. Yeah, and, nope. and you are not there. And I think this is my one right uh one use per turn of them. So I pretty much flip them. Well or... just set it aside. We know you used it. So. Yeah, yeah, right. Just drag it onto the mainland. Flipping doesn't work somehow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, what what was the speed of the littoral guys then? Four, Four I believe. Four, I think. Okay, yeah, like, so this guy would move one, two, three, four. I guess I didn't strike any mine. <laughs> nope, you did not. And one, two, three, four, and that's second guy, and that's my whole. Uh, that's your phase for that. Whole right, phase. So now yeah. it's now it's the second task group for blue. Okay. Well, um, I will activate. Uh, northern of my two land-based task forces, which is Chicago. I'm going to place um, another persistent card. Defend against cyber attacks. And then I'm going to reveal on a 1 through 15. Oh, no, never mind. That's naval. I'm going to read this card real quick. I'm going to bring in my uh, unmanned reconnaissance. That's my second action point. 
Reveal units, two adjacent hexes in the map, and a plus four LRS against that stack. So I will reveal them. Do you have, but, but wait, reveal all units in, oh, in two. two adjacent adjacent hexes. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, fine. Add one blue cube to the enemy tactical net. Well, that would be my second option. Okay, so I will succeed on a one through 15. Let's see. One die. I succeed. So they're okay. revealed. What happens to the mill deck in that case? They're revealed as mill deck, right? Yeah, they are revealed as mill deck. Yeah. You just know there's one there. Yep. And so then the third thing I could do would be if I have units with orange strike values, which I don't anywhere in this task force. So. At this point, I have no capacity to uh, attack the ships with the land-based units. Uh, the red, anything with red can fire on those red LRS. Red can fire. Okay. Red. All right. So, uh, so okay. this stack, here, here. yeah. Some some units have some units have two reds. In which case, the low or left side red is represented by the orange cube. And then the mm -hmm. red cube is the rightmost. But in, the, in most of these, in most of your cases, you have long range strikes with all your units. You do. I think these are ML, MLRS units, I think. Right. So, so you, these you guys. Get, yeah. Those how guys should I re so I'm reading the 12 9 there, or am I reading the 10 4? Um, in your case, you do one or the other. They have two. They should have on the card, there should be an orange cube and a red cube. Let me go look at that. Okay. So. Um, Looking at ah, yeah, those are high Mars. The high Mars have right, uh, orange and red. So it looks like I have six orange, um, on on each of those. But and then the the super number there, the superset number is your range though, so you can only hit those with your longer range. Right. Can so that would be the orange, right? The right hand. No, the right the hand, hand is red. Red. Okay. And the red appears to be six if I'm if these cubes are set up correctly. Hi Mars section. Well, uh, hold on. Red hold, six. Hold, yeah. Hold on. Hold hold on one second, because I think. And make sure we're reading this correctly. Um yeah, these are not right. Long range strikes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. The, the subset number is your combat value for that. The the superset number is your range, and then the the, the cube on the card is your actual logistical supply of it. Yes. So, yeah. so I've got six red in my high Mars sections. Correct. So I've got high Mars with. So this stack here, we're saying there's high Mars with these guys, right? Correct. And the and range the, is nine. Yes. So Correct. I can do. I could spend all the points. I could do eighteen. 18 strikes yeah. on them, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's what's happening. <laughs> and this is what would happen. Yes. You're right. right. Okay. <laughs> so yep. you're going to commit intercept resources, which you have on board these guys. Ships. Yeah. Ships here, and they are but closer you also, than you. So I right. can. You also can inter intercept automatically with your F 22 escorts. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I mean, the. Uh, right. And the these elevator. guys... But is it automatic yeah. or once per turn? Yeah. No, it's automatic. Enemy fighter, how, how do you read it? Because I get confused by these cards still sometimes. I lose Which all one? enemy. My, oh, no. Oh, you, you told uh, Walter about this. I thought you were talking about my air patrols. Yeah. Right. I yeah. can intercept IMAD with the F-22s. Ah, right. You can. Right. Yeah. And so I, your... I got that flipped up. I, I flipped that in my brain. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so, right, I did too. <laughs> so... 18 dice for 12s uh, after you allocate interception resources. Yeah, probably all I have and can <laughs> can allocate. Wait, but can I allocate all of them? Because I have... Oh, okay, I can. Because frigates have only range of two, but that's, that's in range still. Right. Mm, which stack was it, though? And uh, the one with six ships. Okay, oh, which one are you attacking? Are you, uh, Walter, are you attacking this stack right here? Right? No. Are you 
I'm attacking yeah. no, the he, he's ISR. attacking ISRs. Because if I sh- detected them with right. UAV, if I if I sink the troop transports, I win. So I may as well. Just to get all this right. I, I I need to I, I need to just add up all my stuff I can fire. <laughs> That was good right, to all sure my HIMARS. <laughs> yeah, but at least the ground units can be resupplied to a certain degree. Right. I need to look through all the cards because I think I think there's the ability to resupply naval. I think there might be one or two cards that can resupply. That that is right. you, you can you can do it somehow if you have uh oh. supplies in port i i've seen there are some units that can be supplied in port right and i i don't know if that's on us on a scenario basis let me let me just kind of i've been look. i've been behind the scenes here i've been trying to look for that because i i could have sworn there is a way a very specific way though um and, and i thought even it was potentially jcc cards might be able to replace tomahawks but yes oh let me think. I think JCC cards can be can be resupplied by ground supply. So, for example, I, I don't know if the Aegis system can be resupplied by ground unit. I don't think. So. I don't think no ground can't resupply ships. Okay, this uh, is well. I mean, I know you have to be you have to be in port, of course. But I, I just I could have sworn it's either it's either I'm remembering a completely different rule set, which is probably the case. It's probably blue or navy, <laughs> and, or I could have sworn you could resupply ships in some limited way. Um, you know what? I, there is one Chinese card with like littoral ships where it is yes. uh, explained that you can um, resupply them in ports. Okay, let me, I'll go, I'll, I'm just gonna, I'll search through my. Uh... I okay. will, I will tell you. I'll look through my physical cards, just keep playing. Yeah, I, I was looking through through cards here because I thought I remember how they were called. Okay. Uh, so, so now I'm doing know. my 18 strikes because you've allocated your um... everything I had. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 on what you do hit them? Okay. On 10? No, on on 12, right? 12, because yep. you use the longer range one. You need to. So I have 12 hits. Okay, that that might be not bad. <laughs> so and I now... have fo- fourteen rolls of fourteen plus. Sorry, fourteen minus. I I, I wrote it wrong. Wrong game. Two, three, oh four, my goodness. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, fourteen. So I I took all of them, right? But yeah, yes, you did. Yeah, but I have no air defense missiles anymore. So great. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute we forgot a step uh i have four dice to nullify yes you have right you can you can intercept my intercepts correct and i do it once uh so whatever because i i still have five right you still do the yeah. less so how many hit points does an isr have isr have four of them but each hit re- removes one land unit from it. Oh, gotcha. Right. Which is pretty pretty significant. So <clears throat> yeah, but I but I have two mill decks, and mill decks can soak hits Correct. instead of units right. if I choose to. Well, he soaked that Heimar's attack. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but now all the damn. Yeah, now you gotta use up your resupply. Yeah, but 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 now the task force has no uh, air defense missiles, so yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but they don't have too much longer to get to the shore, so we'll see. I don't know. Two turns. God damn it! That, uh, that's that's pretty long time. <laughs> and next time I can use my short range strikes. So. Yes. And to to make matter worse, next time I move, he will reveal me automatically. Okay, so because the I, one, uh, be uh, the, one yeah. the one the one card that I think you were thinking of, Tom, before is the expeditionary logistics, but it's still it it's still it it resupplies the friendly ground. No, I, I thought about something else. Uh I will tell you about what what I was thinking about. Oh. 
I did not get that uh, uh, intercept because I'd already. No, I did. That's no, right. you That's didn't. You just card, placed right. this card, but didn't use it. So right. that was now fine. it's used, right? Yep. I am learning a lot from this game about what not to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. right. Every time I play it, I learn just a little bit more <laughs> about what not to do. It's patrol boats. Requires a ground or naval unit. Deploy an ISR marker from a friendly control port or friendly. Uh, for every LRS attempt, uh, okay, this JCC yeah. can be resupplied in port. So I guess because this one can be resupplied in port, then maybe others can't. It's the JCC itself that can be resupplied. Yeah, that that's that that's yeah the, the the tricky part of that is then does that mean the aegis system can be resupplied at port i, I don't know i'll i'll, I'll ask about this one aegis i'm pretty sure shouldn't be resupplied yeah i don't because... think so either. i think it's just it's a capability it doesn't have a supply of its own so yeah it makes because sense J jcc is so scarce asset it shouldn't be either way <laughs> Yeah, I would think that if you want to, I would think that if you want to uh, to simulate, you know, naval resupply, then you would have some sort of card that did it, and then it probably would lock that. It probably would take at least one turn, one turn, if not two, to do it. Just something. Yeah. I would think, but I would think the, the the best you could possibly do is maybe by the scenario itself. Right, because I, I can remember what's the time. What I mean, time frame turn represents? Hours. Oh, oh, no, oh no, 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 no. Each of these turns represents, I think, 20 minutes. Hold on a second. No, it's going to take hours to. It's like all day to cross the street. They, yeah, to, to resupply a ship, especially with missiles, it will take maybe even a few days. <laughs> so it's, it's way outside the scope of this game, I guess, to resupply ships. Yeah, but I mean that that time scale can't be right. Just to, to no, cross the Taiwan not. Strait at ship speed, you know. I you yeah, I need to check like because half I can't day, remember. A day? Yeah. I can't remember what's the what's the distance, how wide the strait is. Um, I think it's on the it's on the uh, hex width is uh, the long range is twenty k, and the short sides are ten kilometers. Each of these hex sides is ten kilometers. And those uh, ISR are probably going, you know, 12 knots. So 220 12. nautical miles. So four, they're going four by, time. they're going four by 20 kilometers. So four by 20 kilometers is 80 kilometers or what? Hold on, let me, hold on a second. No, I, I don't know at Google Maps. Google Maps and nautical miles. So 80 <laughs> Is how many nautical miles? It's forty-three nautical miles. So they're going. That's probably four two hours. hours. Per, yeah, four hours at most. If they four, go slow, four hours a turn, roughly. Four or two. Cause... So you know, it would probably take a good several turns to resupply a ship, if not more. You know. So yeah, I don't know how, yeah, I get how long it. The, all right, I always like at? it when when rule books start off with like scale and they 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 explicitly say time and right. distance. Right. Yeah. Right. It's, you it's... know what? I I just check on Google Earth. It's it's around eighty nautical miles. Is the is the narrowest point between right eighty to two hundred? Yeah. And yeah. I I was just looking at an article that confidently asserts that China cannot hinder uh, navigation in, in the Taiwan Strait. And I'm like ah contraire. <laughs> <laughs> I think they can. They may not, but they can. They just haven't yet, but That's or, or, or a few fishing boats, maybe. But um, so that was what two phases have. That's two phases for each of you, right? That's Back right. To... That's right. There's the the southern uh, uh, frigates no. and destroyers. Those guys can still activate, and you have your yeah, cards. I, I have my last. Last, last stack to activate. Yes, and what can they do? 
They will definitely move. I don't know what what this LHD do in this group because uh, in game go terms, with, because it does here. nothing from what I see in this game, right? <laughs> you gotta go look at it. Um, okay, they uh, will definitely type, move here. The type, the type 76 LHD is a planned class of amphibious assault ship equipped with deck space for helicopters and small autonomous man. Ah, okay, so I can basically attach stuff to them. Correct. Yes, the LHD also never runs out of uh, interception because it's you know. Correct. Yes. With gun. with four minus, yeah, I bet it's some two thirty millimeter buffers or something like that, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, the... whatever Chinese by, snack and and by, buffers cannon is. <laughs> and by the way, I think that's I think that remember how we were questioning the two purple. I think that actually the the shorter is infinite as well. I don't think when okay. you use the short range, this the same hex defense. No, I believe I this one. I believe this the same the same hex one is infinite because as 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 I yeah. told you, it's it's pretty much if it only is right. It's, it's AA, yeah. It's triple yeah. A or something like that. Yeah. It seems All right. Or whatever. All right, so let's, yeah, let's certain ships rocking. have an infinite symbol there. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so my first will be move, and if I remember correctly, because uh, you revealed your high marses firing with them, so I can fire from my ships at your yes. high marses. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so, uh, who do I have here who can? Wait, I need to. I need to find them. Ooh, oh, they have. Okay, so Type 55 will fire. They have a lot of missiles. How, how much, because I, I should know this, right? How, how many hit points high Mars, one high Mars have or has? Oh, they look like they have two each. Okay, two so... Uh, to be on the safe side for now, and you have three of them there, right? So, mm -hmm. oh, and you have good intercepts. Uh, oh, God damn it. Okay, one, two. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got two good intercept units in range, one one delta and one two delta. Yeah, two of them. That's not good. You know, obviously losing high Mars is bad, but um, uh, at least I fired all my missiles already. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you can resupply them, right? Probably. Uh, I believe I can. I just have to look at... Um, it, I, you can. The, I don't... I, I never looked if you have any... Uh, I have supply units. Supply units, units. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so I will fire five, uh, five mis missiles at each high Mars okay. from my deck here. That that reveals pretty much destroyers only, I believe. You're firing five from the destroyers. On each. Yeah. It's Ten. hit on okay. 14, 14 or less. All right, and I am gonna fire. Uh. I'm gonna fire ten uh, uh, anti MRIC anti-aircraft missiles. Yeah. Okay. On all oh, right. Do you? Oh, okay. Uh, so I will, for for instance, for first high Mars. Okay, f first five. Because okay. second five. And the third five, because I think I roll for all of them, and then you are uh, roll for yours and assign which one to take away. Is that how I remember it correctly? So first one received four, second one received three, and third received three hits. So I roll, I pull all my. I think so. I'm not sure, rolls? but I think so. Okay. Yeah, it's all resolved at the same time. Okay. So you had seven hits, right? 
Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Around something like that. 10 dice for 13s, and I have rolled awfully. I have stopped. Five. 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 So two, two came through. Two got through. And then I can say that's a hit point against each you of two hybrids. You can spread it. I yeah. think okay. you... I mean, I, mean, I need to look at it, but I think you can. I thought yeah. you had to. I thought you had to pick very specific target. You don't just fire on the. They're, they're, it, it, you can only fire at a revealed target, but you have to pick the target and how many. I picked, are. but I picked my targets. I picked my targets and I rolled for it separately. Oh well. And now the question is: Does Mike Do need my to declare which? Yeah, you, you, you pull. Do? You pull yeah. the inter you can okay. oh geez so uh, now i had i had, no. I had to i had to, so to actually no tom you should have you actually should have each one of those is a separate attack and then you should have committed a certain uh, okay okay so next time we, each time he declares an attack yeah we, we, but it's a we, stack so is it is it still an action point for each attack um you're no. right i'm just trying to yeah, you know, you think that would stack. You think that would stack. Yeah, I mean, it so makes more he's sense. attacking the stack with a stack. Uh, so yes. and I it's feel one like AP. Right. That's yeah. definitely one AP to perform this attack, and I can, from what I remember, I, mean, I can, uh, I can I'm spread going. my attacks however I like. The question is, does look on this one. Mm -hmm. do Mike okay. need to declare which is intercepted or each each right? Am I, am I declaring intercepts for each? Hold player? on, here it is. Here it is. Hold on. The player must identify specific target units for each attack. For example, each die, whether for ground assault or LRS. The attacking player must allocate a specific number of supply value dice being used to attack each target. However, the defending player may use mill deck to protect specific targets. Each successful attack roll inflicts a hit point on the target. For each hit point loss, move the HP calculator. Um, so you have to very, it's very, it's, it is exquisite. Now, multiple units um, the same LRS attack for intercept. The unit has two intercept values. You can only use one of these values. Moreover, critical number units. The only time you would have used them, the only time you would have used all your purple on one attack would be if he was doing a, all his missiles on one unit. <laughs> right. So the question is, do I pre, like I react to each strike, like, there's six on this high Mars, so it's this many intercept attempts. Right. You would have separately defended against each of the three attacks with okay. however many with however many dice okay. you were going to allocate towards defending okay. that. So do we want to distribute no, my defense? I, no, no, I, I, let's leave it like that. I would say one from each. Right. We'll do I would suggest, yeah. yeah, I would suggest just distribute the HP. It, it will average, yeah, spread it around. It will be like averaged. Okay, so have you done that? Yeah, we pretty much finished it. Oh, th though I have still two, two more points. And your your ships here are revealed, correct? Yes, they fired. <laughs> okay, one more point. Yeah, I, I bought these cards to elim eliminate your ships quickly, but that might not oh. be... We had said we would not do submarines. But this is different. Okay. Yeah, it's not. This is, this is not submarine, just torpedo attack. It's not placed there. I just roll two dice for torpedo attack on up to two. I, I do not play submarine. I just. Okay, those capable ships in the same hex may nullify this JCC. So I get a chance to, because these are, I get a chance to nullify you. So. Yeah. I, I honestly, I, I personally think that this is a lot easier to manage from for subs than than actually having the subs. I have nullified your card, sir. Okay. Great. Uh, with JCC, what, how do you know, uh, how do you recognize that ship is ASW capable? Is it told on card? Because I can see your cards, and I was wondering that. Uh, I would think. I know they I mean, are. I mean, they uh, always do. I know they, know they are, do. too, in real life. I know, but I wondered how game tracks that. <laughs> Uh, I'll look it because up. Because there, there are ASW cards. There are cards like ASW helicopters you can deploy from frigates. Well, it says explicitly you need to know, have frigates to have it attached. Ship. 
Uh, come on. Well, I know they are. I, I just yeah. wonder how game how does the game know? Right, right. <laughs> but we know perfectly well these are sonar buoys. They have SW yeah, helicopters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all wrong with that until we prove otherwise. Okay. Um, sure. Go for it. Keep going. Okay, so I have one more, one more point to use. Uh, and what do I want to do? Uh, oh, you used your you used your F twenty twos already this turn, right? To to intercept my I did. my stuff. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm pondering. Yeah, okay. I, I, I will I, I will throw second guys hmm. into fray and try to <laughs> Holy cat. Sorry, I'm yeah, that... these ISR. Oh sorry. They, they have two of them. I, I, I couldn't find more. <laughs> so I will try to nullify immediately your escorts, I think. Why not? It'll cost you it is probably a stupid move, but I can't think of anything else. Uh, so I try to detect you on one to eight and probably fail. You Ooh, succeed. No, they succeed. But now I roll on one to twelve. I yeah, fighter nullify. So on one to twelve, I nullify you. Yep. So this goes to deck. Yes. Mm. No. Uh, I really wish I Hold had that combat oh. air patrol. Hold on a second. So nullify just keeps you from being able to do what you want to do. Oh, You'd, have really? an intercept. You'd have to do an intercept. Uh, didn't I? Okay, so I don't understand it. Combat air patrol. The way that they, the way that they're depicting this is that it's an actual... fighter nullify must roll first roll one eight to the third. Okay, I I don't understand then this. A fighter no, a fighter nullify is making them not be able to be used for this turn. Which they've been used. Oh, that's all. Okay, yeah. then I I didn't understand it at all. Okay. Um, okay. Whatever. <laughs> then, then they will just sit here. Okay. So, I, or or you can. Or, although you already use them, right? So it's, it's because it, it's because I mean, certain certain other cards have more offensive value. Ah, uh, okay. Because your it's it's your F twenty twos cannot be yeah. Because I see right, that right, 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 right. Fall yeah, enemy it, it, this card, or intercept. This card this is card representing is literally card. patrols, not you know. It, it's determined Correct. more than anything. Right. No, I see. My can be discarded with two nullify or intercepts, and yours cannot. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they they will just fly around because I don't know what to do. Oh, they they do too. They do as well. After two successful enemy nullifier intercepts, discard this card. F twenty twos. Oh no, they don't. You're right. No, they. they uh, are not. My combat air patrol. Right. Uh, yeah. If I nullify uh, intercept you, uh, with my combat air patrol that got thrown away, uh, twice. Which is what happened to me. I was intercepted twice attacking those ships. So, yes, which I would not have done. <laughs> I need to read. I need to read these rules because I I not fully understand what's happening here. <laughs> I must admit, I went with them. Okay, so that's that's all I do. I, I oh, just place them there. Then right. uh, when I use just, planes, then you reduce can jump your morale. With one of the combat air patrols, right? Or both, actually. Oh, can you? Hey, here's how... hey. Look at look at the video screen. The, the 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 fighter marker icon on there says prior to effects, enemy fighters may attempt nullify this JC card and discard it. Oh, that's only if uh, that's confusing. <laughs> yeah, that is a little confusing right there, isn't it? Oh, fighter! Prior to effect, to effects, right. enemy yeah. fighters may attempt nullify this. What's clear is if I were intercepting with planes, which I can do with the escorts, then you can react. Yeah, we need to, to, me. We need so to ask then. Ah, uh, you know, you know what, you know what, Peter? 
it might be that you can discard any of them and that after two successful enemy nullify intercepts, it just mentioned that you need to have two intercepts or nullifies instead of one to discard it. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. I think you always can discard it if it says if it doesn't say it, so the escorts would go away. Yeah, the uh, escorts would go away from my intercept. Yeah, I think yeah, that's for the nullify. But but it only happens. But but what I was trying to say is it only happens when uh, the blue side tries to do an effect. You can't just nullify it before they do something. You you, okay. you nullify their attempt to do something. Yes, yeah, but but I have this but but I have this option here that says option A on my combatter patrols says oh, fighter yeah, right. nullify you're one right. or two enemy. I, I can offensively just drive drive him off. Okay, I, I get it. I think that that's just that just reminder you can perform it outside of your turn, right? Because this Correct. is your, this is reaction to the Correct. Turn. Yeah, yeah, you are able to. Re yeah, that's a good way to think of it. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, keep going, y'all. Uh, I think it's end of the turn, unless Walter has... Fair... I have another task force. Oh, you, oh, you yeah. have another task force. Yeah, I oh. didn't know if you have them three or two. Okay, and I have one more way to go after your ISRs. <sighs> so I am attaching tomahawks to four alpha. And that would be... Oh, you got land-based land tomahawks? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> And now I can't read the... Well, I'll read the physical card. Okay. I attach it to a grand unit. That unit's hit points go up by two. Okay. Uh, using an orange cube, put four on the tracker. And then, boom, I'm going to use them all right away. And I am going to do four 13-point LRS attacks on them. Um, and uh, uh, I'm working from the theory that you are out of uh, air defense up there. Uh, so we'll see how yeah, it goes. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. All right. Four dice for a 13. And that is two hits. And then you get to distribute the two hits. No, I will remove my wheel decks. Okay. Just so I will soak soak it with Mildex. So a brace of tomahawks, hit your stack. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was uh, two activations. And then my third one, let me think about that. Um, can't use that one yet. Can't use that. And uh, reveals go away at the end of the turn. Only if you spend an action to conceal yourself. Okay. So yes. I know that you, yeah, you have to actively conceal yourself. Reconceal okay. yourself. You can move, move, you can activate and move and attack or move and conceal. conceal. Or but you can move or... zero. Right. <laughs> so this stack, I will do the move and conceal option. Okay. I'm going to put two of them in the port and two in the airfield and go hidden again. So you what's cannot, hold on, hold on, hold on. You cannot that would cost two action points because you, right. you can only move them at this into the same area. Okay. You so... can spend an, you yeah. can spend an extra action point. Yeah, you that. can you can split them, but then you can you, you need to play okay. action for each stack. Okay, so the stack has that moved has the guy that fired. Okay. Yep. So we finished a turn. All right, so let's so. so then then we hit the little move thing, make sure that everybody gets, and then we move the turn. Wow, we got the turn two. And I'm gonna do a bio break. One second. I am gonna grab a drink myself here. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, back in a moment.
And I'm back. I'm back. I'm back as well. And as I recall, initiative rules, China retains the initiative. Because I lost Correct. the shot. Unless you did more. Let's see. Hold on. There's a rule on that. But He didn't lose any units. So, yeah. Right. danger of learning too many games is keeping them straight yeah <laughs> it's like oh man well i i also like learning uh this being a learning game i'm like well, i would do everything differently <laughs> well yeah absolutely right and um it takes a little bit to get used to the uh nullifying and the intercepting i it's it's a straightforward once you get it, but it's yeah. not difficult. But it's just let me see if there's a better description of it all in the um, book here. Uh, I won't share because there's a lot of bodies in it, but. There is this trench clearing video, which looks more like a video game than I expected because the Russians keep yeah, one thing we should running out in view. Yeah. I think we should all reread uh, section nine. It's the joint capability card one. That it, mm -hmm. it includes, there's a bunch of information in here. Um, yeah, you know, it's like, you know. <laughs> These are really interesting rules, but they're not organized the way my brain works. Um, I don't. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all there. You just got to kind of right, right. You, you got to. It, it is categorically stylized and, and grouped well. Um, it's just, it's for some reason you always remember you read something. Nullify JCCs don't require APs. We're doing that right. Attaching JCCs does not require APs. It's done during deployment. Should we have attached everything ahead of time? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I well, thought I did you not did. do that. No, yeah, I, that's fine. yeah. It, it didn't. It, it, it was it. Everything you did made sense. So don't worry about it. I, I probably lost. It probably cost me a couple action points. I should have had, but uh, I will. I'll know for next time. Let's see. Because I was paying an attach, action point to attach and use the card, but I'm using the card, so yeah. The tomahawks, I should have had another action point. Wow, there's some interesting events. When do events it. happen? Uh, um, looks like, I mean, I think the scenario tells you. Yeah. So, like, for this scenario, here, I'll go read that real quick. Okay. For this one, pulling out my old man glasses. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, action pool, action point pool, event card 17. Play this event card at the beginning of the yep. game. We actually, so, we can, we can, we can, we're not three per task force if we're doing it right in this scenario. We have 11 for the three task forces, which we didn't do this turn. So, oh, interesting. The action point pool one. Each team will have their normal AP 
plus two. Interesting. Uh, uh, oh, there's some interesting. Yeah, I, I like I like this. There's it's a very uh, customizable game. Um, Attach DCCs. Oh, let me make sure I don't have any other. I'd be interested. I'd be interested amongst us to figure out if we could create some new cards, like just between, you know, like between us, like, yeah. you know, of course, explosive pack tank is going to be one for the ball. <laughs> right. So I, I attach that and then I attach, let's see, uh, blue one. That's right. One. All right. Those are my other attached ones. Of course, Aegis, we already did. So. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. And I need I, I need to reread the rule book again because I'm yeah. not sure about I I, I I went for coffee and oh interesting. Oh, <laughs> this this scenario has an event card twenty. It's mission kills for naval units. Uh, play yes. this event card. Play this event card at the beginning of the scenario. Whenever any naval unit <laughs> suffers a hit point. Roll one dice on a one to six LRS no longer available. On seven to twelve IMD IMD no longer available. On thirteen to eighteen movement is no longer available. That's a pretty cool rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far it hasn't mattered because uh, uh, my ship got sunk, and the mill deck have soaked all the other damage. I, I really so like that. It kind of you could yeah, easily expand. That, that's you could expand. Nice. Yeah, you could expand. I mean. And I think I said this yesterday that the naval aspects of this are, are just are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, compared compared even compared even to other games that more concentrated on it. Like I actually think this handled naval better than possibly. Yeah. Well, uh, in learning that I, the, the, all everything during the naval phase for me, I did wrong because I didn't reconceal my ships. So I'm going to lose this turn. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably lose them. Although they they soaked some of my assets real nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like especially with limited naval, right? Yeah. Not, not, good, not, 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 good luck getting your infantry ashore, but uh, other than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, for for the beginning, that's interesting how it will develop because you know it ate one third of my points yeah. for cards yeah to try to, to to because my plan was to destroy them immediately with these cards and it kind of failed right it, it mm. partially worked although if, when i looked through the chinese deck they don't have really many assets for ground forces or they had assets for missile batteries which i think don't have in this scenario or i read the unit well, wow. you mean PLARF stuff, rocket forces? You mean? Yeah. Do I have them? I think I have them. Maybe. I one. mean, I think they're represented by. I thought you did. I thought you did an attack with them before, didn't you? To the hyper. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, missile ground forces, like wow. uh, you know, missile batteries, like mm -hmm. HIMARS, because that's different. Well, I think that's a deficiency of theirs. Because it? because there are cards that you can specifically attach only to the rocket artillery land units. Oh. Okay. All right. But I think isn't that one of the? I mean, I, I think that's what it's depicting, right? The fact that yeah, I I, I think I don't have I have one or I don't have them, and uh, that's the thing. In this scenario, there are not many cards for Chinese side that can be at the, or at all can be attached to the ground forces. They have they have a lot of cyber attacks, and maybe I should push into. Yeah, that. I think that I think honestly, yeah. You probably want to be kind of moving towards that concentration, at least in at least as we get up to that turn three where you get some more. Some it's more, interesting because uh, I put some serious resources into <laughs> uh, denying right uh, cyber attack. Yeah, right. But he chose not to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like so, but he made you eat it. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. All right. Where are we at? We're on the top of two. Uh, yep. Let's try to get through maybe this term. Yeah. Um, so first, first task force for plan, go. Yeah, because I have I, we check initiative for this turn, right? Although I I'm winning it because I actually destroyed something. Well, we were just, right. 
you 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 sank my ship, so you have initiative. Yeah. So. Okay. Correct. Correct. Mm. Let me see. And who is that. who is right now revealed? Your ships, your HIMARS, and whatever defended the HIMARS, right? Uh. Correct. Ooh, okay. if you can get. Oh man, if the U.S. could have. If the U.S. could have moved the, the influence up to three, they lost one here. If they could have moved this up to three, then they would have gotten an extra five CP during each of the extra, the next three supplies. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, uh, yeah, my, my attention to sink the convoy did not pan out, so. No, but, but it was I mean, a good this, effort. I, <laughs> yeah. like the, I like the event cards. Why do you think you're friends won't like that they don't like they don't like uh card random events i understand yeah. if they these are random effects not necessarily right. yeah know, it's, it's this isn't twilight struggle you know uh those <laughs> right. aren't random either because those are in your hand no yeah if if you play with someone who is very good player of twilight struggle you will see that this randomness in this game can be uh, manipulated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I, uh, as as the as the Reds, I keep DefCon at two all through the early period, and uh, <laughs> that's a wild ride. Yeah, but, but, you, you know, a card can come up and and blow up the world. But yeah. in the meantime, I'm preventing a lot of right wing coups, <laughs> committing a lot of coups myself. Yeah. No, I, I I've seen people. I I maybe later I will tell you. Uh, the, the impressions I, I read about because we had Polish like championships of Twilight Struggle Good. and there are they, lots they, of cards they, 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 sta <laughs> they, they stopped them because there were two players that won them every time wow. and no one wanted to participate. <laughs> Have you played the game uh, Wir sind das Volk? Uh, it's no, a competition between East and West Germany. Uh, it's a resource no. game. It's a fast first... Euro game, yeah. First time I hear about it. I'll send you the BGG link. That's okay. a fascinating game. And you, you can play as as there's a four player game, you add in the Soviet Union, United States, and only one of the four of you can win. So the United States and West Germany are competing against each other to win, quote unquote, as well as trying to like make sure there aren't too many socialists in West Germany. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay, what All I right, want to do it. now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm thinking what to do, <laughs> um, because I, do, I don't know if your ships are any. Should I attack your ships? Okay, I will. Oh, here, here's something I can remember in this game. You do not, you, you can't repair your units, right? If they soak HPs. Heat no. points. You cannot repair them at all. Right. No, not with the mechanic points of the scenario, at least. No. Mm -hmm. I'm unaware okay. of any to see that, that, that do it either. Because now I, I also don't know how this game fully works. And, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> because not, now I will. Yeah, should I take. No, okay. What, what I would do here. Because no. I'm trying to think how I would play not exploiting the fact that I know what units you have in every hex. <laughs> right. Mm. Well, you know, you, you, you've got a brigade's worth of high Mars right down yeah, on the coast. So. Yeah, but you, but you, I would know you already fired everything from them. Right. And they soak only two hit points, right? Right. Uh, okay, so let's let's see. Uh, uh, let's experiment. I, I would play. So I will activate these guys. This task force. I will play social media exploitation. Unless you have something to block it. Let's see. I don't. I have a ability to automatically block uh, putting cubes on my tactical network, but this is different. Yeah, that's different. Okay, so I roll five times, and I can reveal one enemy unit anywhere on the map for each uh, one to eight. <laughs> so one, perfect. 
Mm, hold so on. I, I w- hey, mm-hmm. for every uh, if you gotta look at your tactical network cards, because for every for every successful enemy cyber JCC, yeah. you get an extra cube. So just playing any. Yeah, I totally yeah. forgot about that. I, I couldn't remember the, this thing. Yeah, so each each successful cyber attack is one cube, right? Correct. But is it a cyber attack, though? How do you... No, what? you're right. You're yeah, right. That uh, it's not a cyber attack. That's that's uh, yeah. different social media, yeah. Correct. Yeah, because it needs to be called actually cyber attack. Yeah, right? I, I, yeah, you're correct. You're correct. Okay. So I, I, I have like... a way to affect your tactical network. Is also not cyber. That's on my um, UAV card. Yeah. Okay, so I would reveal one one guy here, and from what I see, it, it doesn't matter which one right now. Oh, sorry, it it it, it matters because it, it can be. I just roll one to ten on one. The card you showed me, yeah, you just roll a card. It's not attached to a particular unit. No, no, I can, I can, yeah, I can reveal any one on the map. I would like to reveal someone here, so I would re- reveal someone random here. I will just roll one. Okay. The uh, twenty. So from left to right, it will be one to Bravo. Let's say. Right looking like this so i would reveal them okay. mm, and for second point I I what to, with second point i would bombard this guy with attack attack from them and they will attack with mm, do you have enough Resources? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, he will receive. Uh, I, I don't know how much I should punish him. Okay. Uh, so he will receive in total six. Because his LRS supply for his DDGs is seven and his FFGs is three. Mm. But wait, DDG is further away mm-hmm. than my attacking unit. No, no, I'm talking about your how many long range strikes you have oh, okay. at start. I don't know how at many you start... used on my ships at this point. I used none of, or did I? I, I didn't use my. That's ship right. You was just you. was just the glide missiles. That's right. Yeah, it was just the glide missile. They they used some stuff on high marsis and they used nothing from their. Uh, oh, and I. And I again used the incorrect, <laughs> incorrect group. Okay, how many did I say I, I launched? Six. I thought you said five. But... So you're doing five strikes on that guy. No, six. Sorry, six. Because I I thought I launched three from each ship, but I six. It will be six strikes. Okay, and I am gonna pay for five intercepts. From the two MIRC sessions that are in range. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, roll your six hits. Uh, give me, just give me a second. Yeah, I, I'm confusing the groups all the time. Oh, yes. That's great. Okay, yep. Yep. four hits. Four hits. Here we have five rolls for thirteen, and uh, stop. Very good. Nice. All right. So that would be it uh, with them. I have one more point, but don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> I, must have been... I think we need to start putting these green cubes on the exact cards. Yeah, Not probably. Good. Yeah. I just like just needed to keep. Oh, actually, that actually says revealed. So. There, it's clear. Oh, right. They are not reconcealed. Okay. Um, well... These guys were concealed. Yeah, I didn't reconcile my ships here, and you you found all of them with UAV, right? Okay. And I That's can't right. and I can't activate now them to conceal, right? 
after fire if i have even one no, no right. i can yeah no already one activation right there, so. okay so okay. i don't really have I, I don't really see an option with my third point that i could use that would be useful really for anything then, path. then you just pass it yeah then i will pass because right. so i'm going to activate my ships and long range i should have all of my initial red, and I see that I did. I flipped the red and the purple. I did. So, no, I did strikes, didn't I? They With have who? not been, the okay, the two destroyers. Yeah, uh, you did. Yes, I think you you fired with them on something. So. Now I have to decide between your ships, your combat ships, and your uh, ISR with my destroyers. Difficult decision. Give me a moment here. Let's see. I have, uh, so at this point, I have nine, 13 strikes left. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to strike your ships. Your combat yeah. ships. Okay, yeah. Maybe I I should have strike yours. <laughs> that, that was oh. probably a bad, bad move on my part. All right. Uh, let's see. You have three destroyers there. Uh, there are yep. going to be four strikes on each destroyer. And that'll leave me with a single strike left. All right. So just do each of those individually. So yep. okay. And so these are hitting on 14. So. So you're committing four attack on one target, and then he needs okay. to commit how many he's going to defend. Yeah, I have none there. You so have no defense. No okay. defense, then ho go for it, because I already fired everything on them. <laughs> okay, so first DDG, four hits. So he's dead, I assume. Uh, they have yeah, two hit points. Yeah. Yep. Second DDG, three hits. Wait, I have this. This one has two DD. Uh, ah, okay. It has three DDGs. Okay. Which one? Ah, okay. Because on cards, not all of them are. Yep. And the third DDG, uh, three hits. Okay. So mm. all of them are gone. Pretty sunk. And that is uh, three influence, is, is that correct? Yeah, and then that absolutely screws them over. One, two. Yeah. Let's, let's I, I should. I, yeah, I should have fire on you, not on some stupid land units. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't comprehend what... Yeah, I, I somehow forgot you still have missiles on your ships. I'm almost out now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh. <laughs> so that was first activation. I cannot yeah, but... steal because I fired. Oh, no, wait. I had... Okay, you know what? I screwed I screwed something up with... with you did one. have a single... Yeah, a I had no ship single with missile, a... but now I have, I, have, I, I have some boxes on my ships that I don't know what represent them. There is one ship... There, the LHD has the range zero air defense. I see it now. So that would be the one thing you could have rolled. Peter, can you look at my red two group and tell me what's going on with type O five twenty? Why why is it here? I don't see cube here. Oh, okay. N never mind. I I'm just very observant <laughs> okay everything's fine yes sing them okay yeah go ahead and pull your destroyers out of the stack mm, okay oh you didn't attack the rest of them only destroyers i thought only you would the destroyers go... right yeah i thought you would go for all of them <laughs> i didn't i didn't have enough missiles left now oh, really uh the land-based units might <laughs> all right Later. So, and while see. we're doing all this, just kind of triple check you don't have any other assets to protect you. But I, I checked for you, but I, 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 I don't, I, I would remember. 
But I had nothing like this. I, I thought maybe, but my uh, aircraft can't intercept things like the one that. Thing, uh, the one thing I was looking up is just to make sure. Um, I was just trying to make sure that you get a point for every ship. I think you do. I remember reading that too, but for the influence, but I can't find the rule. Um, uh, no, no, I just screwed up because I should fire every missile I, I have okay, on hold these on. ships. The initiative, the initiative in the next action stage goes to the team that destroyed the most enemy units during the previous turn. So next turn, USMC will get initiative, by the way. Well, it turns not over yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he still uh, has we'll some see. frigates. So we'll see. Uh, they have nothing of value. I'm I have a question to... about nullify cards. I have tactical cyber defenses. Would I put it out on the table, or do I need to? I come it comes out of my hand when I use it, or how does that work? The the, um, the nullify unless it's, a, unless it's a persistent, you wouldn't put it on the table unless it's a persistent asset. Okay, so when I play it, yep. I have a choice. It's because right out of my hand to nullify, or. Um, or I would place it as an action to remove red cubes from my from my side. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So that is one activation, and I'm trying to think what I else I can do with these ships. I can play. I will play the open source Intel card, just because I'd like to reveal the. Uh, this group here is not revealed. I'm pretty sure. No. I agree. Okay. So now I'm going to roll five dice. And I, on every one through six, I can reveal a ship. So I have revealed three. So I'm going to randomly, yeah, randomly reveal three. You need to randomly, yeah. 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 Reveal in a unit. And then, so uh, it would be, it's this stack I want to know about. So watch. Watched it be the wrong stack, but uh, I concluded from how far it moved that it was the convoy. So now I'll roll five dice and uh, it'll be an ISR on one through 12. How about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know what? Actually, oh, it's three dice, it's three dice, yeah. No, you know what? Let let me let 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 let's do it. Now you can see them, right? Okay, and then I will. Wait, I I will, you know. Yeah, the ISRs are still ISR though. Just just flip point them. them. Oh, they are still like, ah, got them. Uh, flip flip and shuffle. Yeah. And oh, I no, can. they are never they're never hidden. So I'll they I'll are roll never them. hidden. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. And now I can remember where they where they were. <laughs> so uh, three die rolls and one through twelve, it'll be an ISR. So I got one ISR and both Milvex. Okay, let's let's say this one, I guess. Okay. And both Mildex. So. Anyway, yeah. One reveal, two ISRs. So I mean, yeah. So only one should be revealed. Okay. Uh that was my second action and my third. Let's see. Now I can save this guy. I was like, I could actually add a blue cube to your network, but I would be using my UAVs if I did that. So I will hold on to them. And that's it. I'm done with my activation. OK. Uh, Check that. Navy yeah. of the My second. Oh, right. You. Yeah, your it's Navy. Your navy is pretty much well. They they can still defend targets on land if they are close enough, right? Because... Right, right. That was a good use of my missiles. <laughs> yep, I I totally screwed <laughs> that one. I totally did it wrong. And okay. I wonder what I would do. I, I really don't feel this scenario, and I, I, I think I also took some cards really in the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we both uh, 
we both, both. do things different for sure yeah and i need to read some rules yeah okay so you have activation of your land units that i don't like <laughs> mm. <laughs> No, because I don't know what high Mars is. If you have any high Mars left, there's yeah, there's high Mars in the other task force. Yeah. So I would probably try. I would activate these guys before my, because these guys when move when this and this, I even I, them I can't really you know conceal because when I move here they will be visible. So they are not concealed currently so you'd have to spend a yeah you'd have to decide. i know but but when i move them three hexes away they can be concealed at all i think right right so that's bad i agree so i would perform this one as first action but here's the thing because okay. this is pretty pretty powerful card. So and I know what you have here, right? Mm. So I have who, who is who is exposed? This this guy is visible, right? Because They're I don't visible. know what you have here. I would preferably want to block your intercept guys, but I could, wouldn't know where they are. So right, right now uh, you know about this whole stack and the top guy there and the yeah. air defense there. But here, this is interesting to me. Can I play it on the stack that is revealed just to block intercepts? I think so, right? It doesn't. On a roll 1 to 14, units in any one hex are revealed. Cannot conduct action. So, yeah, you can paralyze a stack. Yeah, even revealed stack, right? I, 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 I would think so. so. I would think so. Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? And I know about defenses here. And I, let me look at the wording here. I might have a reaction to that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to nullify because that's a powerful card. So. Okay, but we still need to roll 1 to 10. Right. So that's step one. Try and prevent your attack. I fail. This goes to the deck. Thanks a lot. And now you have 114 to succeed when you pick your target. Yeah. So... No, I, I probably would aim for this guy. Oof. Would I? Okay. No, because I, here's what would be my plan if I didn't see anything. Uh, I probably would like to soften these guys. And I would try to block the closest yeah. defense unit that I can see. Right? right. You, you're right. You can tell there is a, an infantry battalion there. One, yes, because I revealed one one guy right. there. So you could reveal the whole stack and prevent their their defense. Oh no, no. I, I would no, I would try to block them because these guys were revealed. I mean the top guy, right right? Right. Top guy's revealed. Yeah. I, I would try to reveal what what's below and I would try to block this guy so he wouldn't block me from uh, well defend from attacking the guy that is revealed on this stack. That that would okay. be my plan. Then roll if I die. didn't see it. I, I think that would be uh what I would do. Oh succeed. And... All right, I'm gonna mark that with a red cube, and then you can tell that you have found Lima, the yes, supply that, unit can... for that uh for that regiment. Yeah. And they can do nothing. This actually, I guess I'm I'm up a unit size. This this is, uh, uh, yeah, for the battalion. That's right. So yeah, so they can do nothing. Mm -hmm. Uh, this turn, and now you receive block on your tactical network, right? Because this is a cyber attack. Uh, no, this does not attack my tactical network. Ah, okay, because I it thought... would say it would it would say if it did. So, uh, okay, because I I couldn't understand this because I thought that I thought that that, that would give you a cube down. for every successful no, cards, enemy cyber. But the, there are cards that say, uh, like if you look at offensive cyber, it says it you put the the cubes on the the thing. All right, that's that's yeah. fine. That, I mean, I think yeah, I need weird. to check that because because uh, I'll I'll ask about that, but I think that's correct. I yeah, local yeah, that probably rather is. than strategic. You're yeah. correct. That's yeah, exactly right. right. Okay. So that goes to deck. That was my first action, right? I somehow, I don't know, I, I, I can 
play for action. Task Force proper. Beijing. Yes. Uh, so second action would be what? What's the range of this guy? It's close. Close enough to get closer to attack your. Oh, actually. The long range strikes are infinite. <laughs> yep. So I don't need to move actually. Uh, or would I? Uh, I I would move. Yeah, I would move actually here. Um, and they will attack. Actually, I will perform few attacks because I will not only attack your uh, battalion here. Uh, I will also attack your supply here. Okay. Mm, I, I I just need to tell you how how many of them. Okay, so for the supply one. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Ah, okay. Wait, supply will receive. And one unit can spread attacks on uh, different. I don't see anything saying you can't. You okay. Time to, I mean, it's not, it's not like a five minute turn. You can track multiple targets. All right. Okay, that will go for battalion. And two, and how many on the? Oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm checking this right now. <laughs> um, and against your interception. Uh, eight. On my, am I? M R I C. Oh, so it's not it's not battalion. It's ah, it's good. Company. Uh, yeah, good. No, 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 no. The the first one will go against your uh, one two delta here because okay. I five strikes on one two delta. So is this back and forth? You declare all your strikes, or you do one and then I intercept and then no. I think I declare all of them because okay. I, right. uh, and I will fire eight times. Eight times fourteen minus on your uh, Lima. Okay, eight on supply. Eight on Lima. Lima. Sorry, yeah, you, you know what? Oh, I can't this. Okay, interceptor is a Lima, and battalion is the <laughs> one two. The, I, okay, Delta, it's getting late Delta on my one, end. <laughs> yeah, Delta one two has five. Lima yeah. has eight. Yes. Is that everything? Or are you also yes. attacking? Okay. All right. Yeah, so... screw battalion. Someone okay. else will get them. Yeah. All right. So I am firing. And your one one delta probably. Do you have one one delta else? is going to do three. Times one two 13. delta can't. One two delta cannot respond. Right. Yeah. One one can't respond. So that is. Uh, three from one one, and then there will also be uh, from the ships because you yeah, are because ships six, can eight. use also because so, you only yeah. need to be closer than the attacker, right? Right, right. And you so, are by one hex. Yes. Yeah. So the ships. I'm looking at how much. I recommend you type it. Just, just like type it. Like type each attack. Like five. Like say something like five dice from X to Y. Boom. You know what I mean? And then, okay, yeah, and then, yeah, and then right. he says, Yeah, okay, it's way more that. complicated than that, though, because it is, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, 1 1 delta, 3 times 13 from 1 2. Oh, it's the other way around. 2 delta. And then I got to figure out my. So. And then three times fourteen from DDG and Lima will be so I don't, I, times yeah. fourteen from DDG X. All 
All right, that is what I've got. I'm going to type it. I'm going to hit return. So uh, go ahead and do your strikes on 1, 2, Delta. Uh, okay. Okay, there you go. That's good. There were three, uh, three ta, 10 minus one. <laughs> okay. Three. And, three and the two and two on 14 or less. Okay. Okay, okay so three so hits. So, okay. okay, these are the 13s. Yeah, done. Okay. So now your supply, eight. And I have tracked all my air defense expenditures so yep. yeah very good on 14 or less one two three four five hits in your lima okay and up. eight for 14 or less and we have six steps <laughs> yeah okay so it was stopped wow yeah that, yeah. Was, a rough, that was a rough exchange and they're but all again, revealed yeah so hold on but again look at you're at one third of the match though you know. Yeah, everyone's yeah. out of of most of their missiles already. Right, and then yeah. you, you're going to get new C, new uh, command points here and here. Right. So you right. potentially ops points or whatever, uh, and so just kind of keep that in mind. And right, so that was that I do was have all... some ground based resupply, so uh, that'll help a little because I, I can resupply my tomahawks. And my high marks. Yeah. Right. Um, so what phase are we on? Which 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 phase, which uh, uh, task, how many task groups have gone on each side? This the bo both of my task then, forces, warship task forces went and oh and I have again one action point that I can't really oh no, you know what? I can actually uh actually I will perform this one for the last point. Uh, <laughs> Aerial yeah. strike, four dice to attack units in four adjacent hexes or anyone that was known. Do I understand correctly? It is uh, four dice. Um, on you just if I, if I had four, so I, I would need to spread them between hexes. I, I don't want to. You, don't I, have I, to. I just, you put on the same hat. Yeah, I can no because I, I want to drop everything. I have this four four dice on the Lima. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So here's what happens first. My F twenty twos are gonna roll to <laughs> Do you have them? Detect. Yeah. I have F twenty two escorts. Oh. Yeah. When did so, you place them? I thought I took them that down. Was like, that was the first like, last turn. Ah great. I, I, I covered right. them. <laughs> so so my oh, escorts right. roll to detect your mission, and that's on a fourteen. Mm, I... So my F twenty twos are intercepting. Now you, okay, have so your his... two combat air patrols that can try to detect me on an eight. Yeah, but here's the thing: because I can, or I can option. How does this work? Because I have option B: reduce all enemy attacks against one friendly av aviation JCC by seven. Yes, you can do that. So you I can, can just a cap. do that. I can I can yep. just do that, and this works. Mm -hmm. Now, is it cumulative from two cards? Can I even use two cards to that for that? No, I, uh, I, no. Think so. I yeah. don't think we can do that. Right. No, you that burned, would be... right. You've burned one <coughs> or two caps. So now my F twenty two. But wait, can I can I try to? But or can I intercept with one? And no, I can only use one card. Or can I? You can do one action for each of these cards. Right. Separately. Let Let me look at. I, I actually see it in the rule book. This symbol: enemy F fighter may attempt to fighter nullify this JCC and discard it prior to its effects. Like other nullify effects, fighter nullify does not require an AP. So I guess my when, question is... When played defensively, okay. Are there two cap cards? Because they've got the same number. Are there two cap cards in the physical deck? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be able to do both defensive options with the two caps. So if you want to intercept me, null, null, you know, uh, then you would just need to roll a 1 to 8 to, um, to nullify me. Okay, I need to look later because there is very interesting example here. Okay, so first, first one will try to intercept you. Okay, and on an eight, you will succeed. Mm, wait, first I need to detect you, right? Right, one to eight 
to detect the, and one to twelve to succeed. Okay. You okay, have not he's... nullified me. No. So now can I use second one not to intercept you, but just to reduce right, so just attack flip by it. Like if you if you've used one, then flip it. Oh right. Okay. There you go. Because so second one I would use to just reduce your attack by seven. Option B. Before you flip it, okay. Against friendly enemy should by seven. Okay. So now on a five, I will nullify the aerial strike. Uh did you uh, detect me? Did you already roll for detection? Oh, uh, yes, I detected you. That was the okay. nine up above. That was the other right? roll. Yeah. And Fine. here is me not knowing. Oh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh. So now the strike's going to go in. And uh, there, I guess, is no... Right, they're cruise missiles. So then the next thing is I can intercept, right? Uh, yeah, right. It's it's the they're they're four. It's just like any other LRS. It's a four. It's four LRS. I think it's targetable. It's not a ballistic missile. So right. Yeah, yeah I think so too. It's it's just LRS. Yes. Yeah. It's it's generous. It's generalized. <laughs> generalized. Okay. Uh, in which case, I'll pay for that, and uh, I'm gonna roll. You're gonna roll four strikes, and then I'm gonna roll four intercepts from my three ships. hits. Okay. And three intercepts. Okay. Oh, that's that's interesting, Peter. Uh, lo look right later the example of combat air patrols in the rule book because to combat it's it's escorts, so I don't think it works like that. But two combat air patrols can basically fight each other. You can try to inter fight or nullify combat air, enemy combat air patrol, and he can try to intercept you. So you just fight each other then and both of them can take each other out from what i see yeah let me i'm also going to check if we have two combat air patrols honestly yeah um, and right the f-22s the way i read it is you oughta it oughta say in addition you can only activate it for a friendly air mission but it doesn't say that so yeah all because, right because in rollbook it is if two opposing JCCs aim to fight or nullify one another, such as in the case with two opposing combat air patrol JCCs, then both players will roll for detection simultaneously. <laughs> yeah. If both are successful in detection, they both may right. attempt to fight they, or they nullify. Can nullify each other. Yeah. Okay. So here's okay. a question with the the tactical cyber attack on the supply hex. Lima can't perform a supply action now? Or was that not in the things that were forbidden? I'm sorry, say that one more time. So just so the tactical cyber attack was done on, on the hex that has my supply unit in it. Okay. Does that mean I can't dry draw supply from them? I would say I would say yeah. That's okay. Yeah, because I, I think it was said they can do nothing. They cannot do anything. No they action. They can't activate. And they they they're activating not the unit drawing the supply. Right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well. Dude, I don't even see a combat air patrol for plan. The hell? The card uh, number uh, is like plan, like PLN 1. I'm sorry, PLF 1. Plan oh, sorry, plan MC 2. 2. That's it. Yeah. yeah. There are, I, I pulled two, especially that you can't. Ah, you uh, can clone them. Okay, but I, I'm pretty sure there are two of them. Okay. I don't see them in the physical cards at all. Uh, uh, there are a couple odd extra places cards ended up. In the I mean, like, if you look card. at your physical deck, look for look for combat air patrol on your physical deck for plant. So far, I've not found any. Yeah. Man, I need to go get a bunch of rubber bands. Um, yeah, if you want to bend them like the old uh, baseball cards, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, that's what that's what we should do. We should come up with a baseball card game for these cards. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Stats based, steal... stats based uh, Taiwan invasion. So, no, remember, Taiwan. remember when yeah. you used to do colors and yeah, yep, match colors. And the you, know, you had your neighborhood baseball card battles, right? Okay, uh, so uh, I will activate Task Force. Oh, give me a second on the names. Where the hell is uh, 
Yeah. I am activating uh, uh, Chicago, my northern group here. So <laughs> I'm going to move and then conceal this stack. Maybe I'm missing some cards. What the hell? I don't have any combat air patrol red cards. Move and conceal. So given I can't do anything with the supply or those air defenses, I think that is it. Oh, I could actually I can move the I can move the other high Mars, the other uh, air defense unit again. So I'll do that. But I actually won't move them. That's what I'll do. So yeah, all, all I, I will do with my last activation one, two, three, four. I I will move them and they are visible. And these guys will move one, two, three, four here. Yeah. Okay, so there are my three activations. Uh, was move, like move stack, leave one behind. He's not really moved, and then there was a double move for the other stack. And do me a favor later, and look at your red deck, your physical red deck. We'll do. We'll do. I gotta figure. I might need to order those little plastic um, storage cases because I didn't. I don't yeah. have a combat air patrol. Uh, Card. Yeah. Um, so, so you've done your, you've done your second activation, and I'd done task force Chicago. and third activation. Actually, third activation. I think okay. that's right. I did my ships. I did task force Chicago, and now I'm doing. Uh, last one here is task force Houston. So the first action oh, is no. resupply. And I actually, the only thing I've used is the four tomahawks, so I'm resupplying that. Okay, and one second. Okay, that goes back to four. And that's first activation. And then second activation, I need to make sure I'm closer than your okay, here's one. task force I'm Beijing. Done. One, two, three, six, seven. And I am firing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same range away. So I am firing four cruise missiles at your ISR here. And okay. the cruise missiles are coming from there. All right. All right. And oh. I do not believe you have any intercept assets. Here I... Wait, no, clo closer to them than your attack. No. All right. So this is four rolls for 13. That is four hits. So then you you soak four hits across three ships. That was my die roll. You, of the probably, day. you probably applied them, right? Or, or declared them to whoever is. Uh, how does that work? Oh, I that's right. That, I, I had to them. I had to actually say, well then they would have been it would have been the first two ships. I would have done two on each. Yeah, and now I uh, they have mill decks, so mm, mill decks. Oh, okay, I, I don't. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, you lost mil... the mill deck earlier in the combat. Remember, I, I know, but that together. that was but that was the naval mill deck. But they have land mill oh, decks oh. on board, and we we were even wondering if you can place them there because here's the thing. To deploy this JCC has four MP and may transport four ground units. Unit cannot embark. Uh, remove one embarked unit per HP inflicted. Okay, so yeah, I guess I mean, the decks don't soak it. Yeah, I mean we kind of need an answer on that though. I don't know. I think and I, I guess I decide what's which is on which ISR, right? What's removed? Yes, but what's removed from the ISR from each hit because. I, I, would think one would, and I, think, I would think you would get rid of your mill decks, your, your ground mill decks. I would, but that's the question. Well, do, I, do I, you... until we get a bit, until we get an answer. No, I don't think so, because although maybe, but here's the thing. So that there will be when there will be one hit point, you can have two units on board, and then this one hit point is gone, and both of them go down. I, I mean. Oh, it can be. By the way, you when you went through the U line, I got a roll for a mine. 
okay. you were hit you by know mine. What? I, I, I will, I will remove. So that's five points to soak. Okay. Oh, really? By who? So you took a mine when you went through the Euro. Uh, okay. And uh, there are no more blue cubes in that hex. So there was one mine and you hit it. And now you've come here, you have taken four. Uh, so the mine's going to be random. So I think you would just, you would allocate where the, what the mine hit in the hex, right? Or do I pick? I don't know. Okay. So the mine I'm going to put on number three. And then I'm going to put the uh, two each on one and two from the uh, cruise missiles. Okay. ISR. What rule section is it in? <clears throat> ISR markers, 10. Okay. I, okay. Okay, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance. ISR. ISR. It's really weird that the land units are on these things. Let's see. Intercept it could be destroyed. So the ISR in this scenario are just being treated as special rules? Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's probably okay. somewhere because it's not like regular. It's in the scenario description. Yeah, yeah. That represented by an ISR marker. Keeps students track which ISR is carrying which unit. So I would think that it would just be hit points against the actual land units, right? I would... Mm -hmm. I thought we already did this. Littoral movement uh -huh. JCC. Now we need to look at the littoral movement JCC. Can you, can you put that on the on the virtual table here, that card? Because yes, that's what it's actually, the actual mechanic is the, the, the Toral JCC. Okay. Oh, look. okay. Four movement points may transport four ground units. Units cannot embark and disembark on the same turn. Remove one embarked unit per HP inflicted. So that's pretty okay. clear. So yeah, at this point, you've taken five embarked units between the three ISRs. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah. That's so why I was blasting away at him. It's, that was the whole, uh, all the sacrifices made at this point. And you ate a couple with the mill deck, though. Right? That's why. That's why I was saying that. Yeah, I, I think that you should still. You deserve the mill deck that you expended. So explain to me. It is not talking about mill deck in the the littoral card, though. I mean, well, that's, why I asked, treated... that's, why, that's why I just asked the rules author. Yeah. It no appear like their counterparts in terms of emissions or visual profile, confuser fool, and enemy targeting. But do you have a lift capacity for mill deck plus units on that's your six? Why, oh, I, I, don't know the, I don't know the answer to that yet. I, I don't well, know. you could carry 24 units and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 24. Yeah, so you don't have any room for mill deck. You'd have to leave units on shore uh, to carry mill deck. Okay. I mean, so that's I, the would, question. I wouldn't no just deck. carry mill decks because mill decks, yeah, question yeah, is. That's the question. Can mill, will mill, do mill decks take up space on that card? That, that, that's an ultimate so question. If they weren't taking up space, it's because they're physically on the same boats as the real ships, as the right. real units. Okay. Because right. that's I, I'll boat. give you that. This I'll is five units lost. Is is what that comes down to. I, I'll give you that until the rules author tells me otherwise. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, But we'll, we'll play it that we'll play it that way. But I'll I'll get it. Right. I'll so you have that. you have twelve ground units on the right. Three. But what's the hell? What's the point yeah. of having mill deck if they don't work also elsewhere? I mean, that's that's the whole. Well, that's the I, thing. I you had it. you had naval mill deck, which is the kind of mill deck that works at sea. Yeah. I yeah, mean, but I thought maybe I can mill decks to previous soaks. Yeah. I know, but I thought maybe I can, you know, carry these mill decks, land mill decks to the Taiwan. I'll get it. I'll control. get it. You, time, but you could, then. but they would have to be in separate boats. Yeah. So that. So to be, it would be like you know, really a ghost landing force. At all. Right. You would yeah. need more landing capacity than you have units, and you don't have that here. Okay. 
Well, I could take one, I think, because the, there well, was that, one and, and one space that's, left on that's the, the other thing. That's the question I asked. Does a mill deck unit take up space? Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I, I mean, it should not finish here. In my no. opinion, a land based mill deck should not have any effect at sea. That's why you have the naval mill decks. Yeah, but the naval mill decks is for the location of the actual vessel itself. Right. Uh, right. But what I would argue for you is that, you know, or on your case, though, is that, you know, you, they're there. <laughs> okay. They're physically He's there, got, right? He has 12 spaces. Yeah. So if he wanted to leave land units behind, like if he's got twenty four capacity on his land, yeah, I, I get, what, I get what yeah. you're saying. I, yeah. I get what you're saying. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the answer is. Yeah, if they I need take to run space, because so be it. something came up, unfortunately. So I need to. You need to drop need off. To run then. Yeah. yeah. What do we? So that was the about... last. We're done with turn two. Yeah. All right. Let me right. let me save it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, we'll we'll continue. I, I don't know if we'll continue it or not. We'll, I mean, I think I think plan has no. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, what do you think, Tom? Do you think you still have a chance? Not really. I don't know. You know what? I I I don't know how the land attack rules work. So I would really like to see that mm -hmm. because I'm not sure if I have a chance or not. Because if I manage to land somehow, maybe I can mow him down with, with land units. So, so I would, me, I would wanna, try. I would it. try one or two turns. Right. I, I say well, we can commit to two more turns and then see where we're at. But mm -hmm. then, yeah, exactly. At, at, at another time. That's basically. probably going to be. That'll be Saturday, Sunday next weekend. All right. That's Maybe. cool. Yeah. All right. All right, Joe. All right. Have Cheers. a good one. I just saved. Yeah. It. Okay. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a good one then. Bye.